Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of This My Bourbon Podcast. I'm your host, Barry. With me this week, as he always is, it's the Whiskey Mutant, Eric. It's me, and I'm surrounded by <laughs> snacks of from other countries. Don't sound too excited. I'm nervous, actually. You, you know what's ridiculous, too? As soon as I hit record, my body temperature raised about 10 degrees. Oh, like, I, I, just, feel it. I just felt warmer. Well, Damn. It's just, um, gr- it's great. Hang on, what sort of podcast so, are we doing today? Well, yeah, well. actually, Greg, oh. <laughs> this one is a, a paid only podcast. This is um, special. Yeah. It's like ultra special. Okay. Um, but you, you probably are hearing a third voice and seeing a third person on screen. If you're watching the video version of this, I am very happy to welcome to the show for the first time and introduce you all to our new friend and somebody who has just been excited about doing anything with us for a little while. (laughs) Greg Keeley of Lawrenceburg bourbon company. Greg. Hey guys. Good to be here. Thank you so much. I do get excited for, no reason. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I like how he's a gentleman too. He's like, "Good to be here." When we're actually in his place, right? Oh now. yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that is true. I think he <laughs> means like in the in the, the non physical space. When he said the, that, I more the around. interweb. Yeah. I looked around. I was like, "We're actually in his place." But we're actually yeah. sitting outside of the toilet. Is where <laughs> we're true. sitting. Yeah. I love the the stickers on it too. Yeah. That it's took me just... a long time to find. <laughs> Literally, I that was in, that was intentional yeah, though. It was. Oh, was yeah. Yeah. Well, hey, want to run through the normal stuff that we say. If you have not yet subscribed to the show, please do so. If you want to follow us on social media, it's at my bourbon pod and at Whiskey Mutant. And you can go follow at Lawrenceburg Bourbon Co., right? Uh, or at company. Lawrenceburg Bourbon. Okay, there we go. Yeah. It's on the screen now, so you can see. I mean, not, but yeah. Um, <laughs> Send questions or comments to this is my bourbon shop at gmail.com. Leave us a five star rating and review on the podcast app of choice. You can, uh, oh boy, uh, leave us a voicemail for the barrel ring segment of the show. Eric, guess what? What we got barrel rings? This oh week. boy, <laughs> with a special guest, too. Oh man, that's gonna go over super well. Uh, he's gonna regret ever agreeing to let us do any of this. Uh. Um, <laughs> We've got a hey, we've got a big episode. This this is episode two hundred and seventy five. Really? Yeah. <sighs> been, well, that's coincidental because we've been around for two hundred and seventy five years. Isn't that crazy yeah. how things just work out like yep. that? Yeah. I'm I'm so I think excited. we're the oldest bourbon brand in the world. And the only bourbon oh, I'm gonna bail on that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have a good joke to go with that. Uh you can find all of our apparel and merchandise at bourbonshop.threadless.com and then you can support the show by heading to patreon.com slash my bourbon podcast for as little as a dollar a month. For as little as five dollars a month, you get bonus content. All tiers as well on Patreon have access to our Discord server, which uh is just a wild west of a place it is. i'll be honest yeah. and eric is the instigator for a lot of that i am i am i've <laughs> i've finally got more power in there too um so did you have to ask steven for it yeah <laughs> yeah because you i think i i realized what you did you just acted like you couldn't give me power no but, i couldn't because no because you didn't want me to have power no i no. wanted you to have the power but it sounds Steven like you did. might have more power than I do now. Oh, uh, that's what it sounds like from yeah. the way that you're talking. He didn't want you to have, I have the, the power. power to make people post really inappropriate things that they never feel comfortable posting on normal social media. Yeah, that's the power. That's what that's what you get on the, the discord. Uh, but the Patreon, of course, is where you get first access to things like tickets to our live shows and our meetup weekends. Our barrel picks, Ooh, which speaking of, <laughs> we're gonna get into that in just a moment. Uh, and it's just a really great community. Uh, we got a couple of new patron, well, a new patron and one who's upgraded. Oh, yeah, this I week was talking to them as well. The other day. So, we're gonna uh get into that in just a bit. But we normally start the show out with oh boy, either flying blind or sips and snacks. And we got a double header of sips and snacks this week. Okay. Um, um, where do you, where do you want to start? I think let's start with just the, the snack I brought. We're, okay. Uh, okay. I was going to say we are in a, gonna, a guest's We're going to build up. Well, I think this is the main course <laughs> here. Well, that is true. Um, what Greg, Everybody looks at the, that and says that's yeah, the main course. What Greg mm. provided. <laughs> um, so I thought. You can live on that. Absolutely. That you alone? Can. Mm. Yep. Oh. 
They uh, the Australian Armed Forces won the Emu Wars just on that's Vegemite. true. Mm-hmm. Uh, won a what award? The Emu Wars. What is that? That is a <laughs> an award. No, said? that is no. a real thing that happened in Australia. <laughs> yeah. The awards. There was an overrun of emus. Yeah, and they had mm-hmm. to fight them. A war. Yeah, a was, war. They right. said they won an award. No, that's what they. Well, won they probably the... did after. <laughs> <laughs> Emu wars. Yes. Yeah. They had emus had like weapons and stuff. Well, like muskets. <laughs> Man. Yeah. I always thought everybody was just like. Blowing it up when they're so, like, there's crazy creatures in Australia and stuff like that. Oh, there's right. emus with guns? Yeah, it's part of their well-regulated militia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. What is the wildest creature that you have seen, Greg? Have you ever punched a kangaroo? I haven't punched a kangaroo. Okay. I've seen someone do it. Um, <laughs> it's so metal. <laughs> uh, but I don't know. All the creatures are kind of crazy. The, the People always say everything in Australia can kill you, and it's absolutely 100% true. Sure. <laughs> 100%. Jellyfish can kill you. Everything can kill you. Biggest spider that you've ever seen. Ooh. Be bigger than that. <laughs> That's too big, man. But the, but the most deadly ones are the little tiny black ones with the red backs. Oh, the ones little. that just like hide in your shoes. And yeah, 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 yeah. They bite people on the butt and the <laughs> balls because they hide in your bathroom, in your uh, toilet. Under your I don't know if I ever want to go to Australia. I do. Know. I so badly want to go. Some guy when I was a poison spider bite in your balls. No, I can. I can look. Oh, okay. it's, but the good thing is if it bites you on the other part, it swells up. Oh, so uh, it's, it's good. Be- a, that's it's, a thing, isn't it? It's, it's good before you go to a party. That's a um, thing, isn't it? <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I was uh, it's my party was, favor. When I was in, um, yeah, when I was uh, at the Naval Academy, one guy uh, got bitten on the balls twice in a year oh my gosh by a, and i didn't know anyone until that point that's two times too many as far oh as i'm God. concerned but definitely one time too many within any given year just yesterday on his birthday my brother kicked a fish <laughs> <laughs> true story in sydney kicked a fish turned out to be a stonefish which is more deadly than like a you know, a python, and they they uh, had to call the ambulance. They were worried about his vitals. It's like Steve Irwin got killed by a stingray, and my brother nearly went by kicking a fish. Well, it all wow. happens at home. All happens. Wow. Okay. That's amazing. So sorry for going. Australia. Visit Australia. Speaking of, <laughs> yeah. speaking of stonefish, we have a pecan wheel from just little like, Debbie. Just like a stonefish. Um. <laughs> And I used the last of, I mean, we're here at Lawrenceburg Bourbon. We might as well use some seven-year rye cask two. Mm. 90% rye, 10% malted barley, 116 proof. This thing is so good. This, This blew us away. And I immediately wanted to pair it. And I think that this, with the pecan and kind of the breakfasty snack, it's going to be great. And in the pecan well, you can pour you can pour like a drop or two Greg, right over top of it and it will kind of soak in there and that's that's how you pair this. Ooh. That's what I'm about. I've never had a little Debbie anything. <gasps> no. He's a this little is, de- oh, can't say I'm that. A- <laughs> the mascot's a child. Can't say that. <laughs> yes. This is a big moment. It yeah. is. I'm watching somebody have their first little Debbie. This cake. is Debbie does Lawrenceburg. <laughs> There we go. Or, a, no, we can't say that either. The title of the show. <laughs> she's a child. No. Yeah. She's a mascot. I mean, she's uh, like a 70-year-old woman now, but, yeah, you know, exactly. you can't say okay. anything oh. too weird. Yep, there's the pour over. He dove right in. I oh. just wanted to take a bite first. I haven't had anything to eat yet today. Oh, <laughs> that's good. That's so good, man. That's really good. And that little bit of spice added to the cake is just... Mm. Oh. Oh wow, that's delicious! Oh, I never would have thought about that. See, All what the- I'm what I'm mm. seeing happen right now is just a live demonstration mm. of something that no other distillery has, no other <laughs> bourbon company has, mm. and that's a, an opportunity to pair mm-hmm. whiskey. Like people come in and they pay for like a tasting and a pairing. 
That's like, delicious. And you get this guy to. <laughs> this is like, have you ever had trifle? It's like, it's very English, but it's a, it's like sponge cake with yeah. sherry and whiskey and stuff oh, and cream. I like the sound mm. of it. This is what this tastes like. Oh. We had, we grew up on it. It's so good. This that is, is delicious. Delicious, man. And then you drink the one cask afterwards and the, mm-hmm. and the whiskey just mm. tastes, yeah. it pops. We, uh, we finished that. <laughs> we might have some more if you need some. There's a lot of things. If you're offering, Greg. <laughs> um, oh, my goodness. Now, here's the thing, though. Oh, that's great. Your palate has been prepped. Oh. Your brain has been swimming with the opportunity here to try something you truly have never had before. I've never had this, so this is a first for me. And I'm very excited for you to try Vegemite for the first time. There we go. Mm-hmm. So we're going to eat eat this on a cracker, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. There's a little knife and there we go. plate and everything. Oh, wait till you smell it. Did you say Australia? <laughs> I thought it was going to smell like Nutella. Oh, no. <laughs> it's got the word veg in the name, man. I yeah. know, but still, I've seen it. pictures of it spread on toast and stuff, and I was like, oh, that looks like a sweet Ooh, little treat. I wonder if this might pair. Oh, that's not what I want. That one that's in front of um, the ten year right? Yeah, that's never been opened before. Well, <laughs> so why don't we give it a crack? I love okay. this day. Okay. <laughs> this is my favorite. If you don't day. like the ten year right, though, don't say anything. <laughs> Just say it's. Oh, that's that's nice. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> What's next? Oh, that's oh that rye sound. is just so good, though. It really is that seven year. Oh my gosh, it's it's got. A brightness to it that you don't really expect from a rye whiskey with that high of a, a rye content from it. Did you guys ever try our um, barrel three? I think we had um, one and two, maybe. Yeah, Thank I think you. we just had one and two. Yeah, well, barrel three, you. one and uh, three was going to be my keep at home <laughs> barrel. It was only <laughs> don't tell barrel. anybody about it. No, and, we did. I think we did have three. Oh, you might have. Yeah, we took three samples. Oh, yeah, I tried right. them in here, and I said. I said one. No, 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 no. That was the bourbon. Oh, I thought we were talking about the bourbon. No, the rye we only had rye. one and two yeah. of. Oh. So this is a 10 year old uh, rye out of 10 barrels. Oh. The spice, the spice on the back end is amazing. Like it starts, like it's soothing up front and then it just. It hits you with like peppermint, almost like peppermint and chocolate in the back. Like, oh. Now that you say that, I get the, it's like an after dinner mint. Uh, yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. I, it's, I, it, oh my God. That's good. Like peppermint ice cream. Yeah. Something like that. Like a little desserty. And you don't notice it until like the finish. Like it all comes together in and, the finish. And midway through, too, there is like this savory note that I wasn't anticipating either. Okay, I'm getting used to this. Okay, here's the thing. Wow. Nothing that you... This cannot be worse (laughs) than a durian. Oh. Oh, that thing is... that. (laughs) We had... We had a... We have a a listener and friend. He's not just a listener. uh, Don, who lives in Hawaii. And for our meetup last year, he brought over durian snack cakes. Okay. And th- it was some of the. It, m- it was one like of the most rotten hamburger meat. It was so bad, and I can still like recall <laughs> how horrible that made me feel about just life in general. <laughs> really? Um, but oh well, it my shouldn't be that gosh! Bad. No, this is going to be much like, more how, enjoyable. What, what's the best cracker to v- well, that's Vegemite? A, yeah, that's like a basic Jets cracker, but. Uh, it just has just to be thin. A, a lightly. It's just, not. It's but don't be too light that you're being like all pandy assed about it. <laughs> He's it's calling so you out, brother. Thick. It's. I thought see, it was going to be like. <laughs> <laughs> Greg, you're so thick. Dude, I'm. Uh, I'm. I'm. I'm really. This has been a great day. So I'm far. being very responsible today. <laughs> <laughs> Full of restraint and honor. <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> You had to, you you tried it before you even no, had it. In I th- didn't have enough on there. Okay, all right. 
we broke out the very best silverware for you too. Hey, this is perfect for me. This is what I this is what I use at home. I don't want to wash no dish. <laughs> It's good for water. So you do break out the nice china when we come over for yeah. When, you're, when you you eat all, when you come over, you get to have the one glass plate we have. <laughs> what if I just tripped one day and it was well, April would be pissed. Yeah. Well, I told you not to bring out the nice plates. Sorry, April. All right. <laughs> Is that good? Yep. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh. You want to, might want to give it a lick, mm. just to get a that lick daddy. A lot of a lot of a uh, lot of audio that we can use. Mm-hmm. <laughs> cut that out. <laughs> Here's words from Greg from Lawrenceburg Bourbon. <laughs> might want to give it a lick. Well, it's got that lovely saltiness. Oh my god! Why is it so salty? <laughs> I, actually... I thought this was going to be sweet. I did. Again. It's mm. got veg in the name. I know, but that doesn't mean that it. My eyes are deceiving me because it looks like Nutella. Mm. Okay, I'm not mad at this. I love it, man. Oh, so do I. Oh, okay. I can get behind this. I don't know if I could do like a spoon of it by itself. Oh, now try the. Why does it taste meaty? Ten. Oh. Has it got beef in it? Yeah, like bouillon. You shouldn't call it beef, I might. <laughs> That's called promite. Mm. I actually prefer promite. Do you? Well, mm. there's an actual thing. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, whoa, whoa. It works great, doesn't it? This? That's so weird. <laughs> okay. That that actually gives it a little bit of a sweetness that you were looking for. This it is, does. This <laughs> is... Isn't that weird? This is a perfect example of the hmm. the salty sweet mixture. Like, I'm not saying it tastes like this, but it's it's like when you have popcorn and like chocolate candy at the movies or something. There's like a pepperminty chocolate here, and then you get I get this salty savory with this. That's fucking good. Right? <laughs> oh, you got oh. the pour over. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> okay, that's good. I always know something works that's when your eyes bug out. <laughs> I always know that that is a good sign. That's like a charcuterie board, like, but you took the cracker and you layered it up with like this kind of like a meat. peppered, like sweet pepper jelly, and then like a bunch of like pepperoni and stuff, and then you've had a little bit of bite to it with the whiskey, and all you had to do was take. This and just spread it on a cracker. Yeah. Wow. You should. <laughs> Greg, thanks for this. This is you and that sh- was a new job. You know what you should do is Best make crack. make your kids cupcakes. <gasps> and put this on. And put and not They'll tell them. Kill me. I don't want to have a bad night on my night off. <laughs> oh, that would be good. That, that would be, be a good good little This would be uh, something good to do to you my daily bread. Vegemite is fabulous in. <laughs> if you make a bloody Mary you put the either the celery stick or the a spoon and you stir that into the bloody mary. Oh. Huh. It's because of the salty huh. and the savory, it's delicious in a bloody mary. I could just we sit here and eat so those. So many things to try now. Oh, Man, I mean, that was fantastic. We've got whiskey and snacks and You're right at home, dude. Gosh. All oh, that. And that was the first ever public airing of the 10 by 10. We only got that into the into the uh, cellar door 10 yesterday. 10 by 10, I like that. From 10 counts. We, we have years. been very fortunate, and we'll get to what we've been drinking uh, in a moment, but we, we really have been fortunate to be on the the, the cutting edge, I guess, with, with Lawrenceburg Bourbon Company and, and get the chance to try so many of your all's products before anybody else. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh, like, first of all, thank you for that opportunity. Yeah, well, no, I mean, thank you. Really you, guys, it. you, know, it's, uh, you guys gave us the opportunity, and uh, uh, we're very grateful for that. It was like, just... No one knew who we were. It was just a, a very natural, like, hey, you, you know, we, we'd love to see what's going on. And, you know, Lawrenceburg is just steeped in bourbon richness history and you know it, it just made sense for us to kind of reach out and try to see where where this relationship could go and and sure enough here we are preparing for a meetup 
and preparing to to pick a barrel uh, for it. And we trusted you guys enough too to <laughs> to hope you to like al- it. Allow us to get into it, but I'm dude. It's so and 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 it's just so inviting here. Yeah, like I feel when, very at home. Yeah, and I think that's. I mean. It's obvious we're in Lawrenceburg. There's a lot of there's a lot of bourbon around. There's a lot of stuff, and it's nice to come to a place that, like, when you open the door, you hear the bell ring, and you're just like, I feel comfortable here. I'm not like, because because I, I can remember going places for the first time, distilleries, and you almost feel intimidated, like yeah. you're you're nervous to ask like what's going on or anything like that. And like here, it's just like, hey, how's it going? Welcome me right in. And I was just like. And then the next thing I know, we're trying all this stuff and we're talking and other people from town are hanging out and they're talking, they're tasting with us and all this stuff. Like, it's just so nice. Like definitely, definitely a comforting, friendly environment that you yeah. really need when you're kind of stressed over like, am I going to get to this place or am I going to get to this place? Like, come here, chill. They got tasting bar. They've got other stuff you can try their own stuff, other people's stuff. Like, it's just an awesome place. I want to come back to that in a moment, because uh, I, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. Yeah, I but like, yeah. I, I figure he's our guest, so I got to ask him right, first. Yeah, Greg, what have you been drinking recently? Oh, <laughs> so my wife was always like, "You don't drink every day. You go into the cellar door, do you?" And I'm like, "No." <laughs> Anyhow, she's not listening. Hopefully, she's she? not listening. <laughs> right. Uh, well, we've been actually. Uh, it's been great because you know we we released our our first um, single barrel one cask uh, our one cask series bourbon uh, you know just after you know you guys had tried it yeah. uh, about six weeks ago and uh, the entire everything sold out in less than twenty four hours. The crazy thing was uh, we had a little pre launch party here and people started texting their friends and all that sort of thing. Uh, I got here at 9 a.m. the next morning. It was a Friday. It was 20 degrees or 19 degrees outside. The line out the front went all the way down to the coffee shop, which is nearly a full block. Yeah, that's awesome. And I'm like, oh, hang on a second. How does it do? <laughs> did they get the, you know, did they think it were Buffalo Trace? <laughs> and uh, they've opened a pop up shop in right, Lawrenceburg. Yeah, and we were just more friendly. <laughs> And and so they stayed for and some reason. Yes, you are. Um, but then uh, it sold out literally by lunchtime. That's incredible. And so we were sort of uh, flapping around a little bit, and I didn't even have any to drink. And then uh, we broke out our rye, and I've been uh, drinking the cast two, which I think is my favourite of the uh, of the seven year rye, the one cask rye. Um, and uh, then uh, we've we've. Got our next uh, 10 barrels ready to release uh, in the next few weeks of bourbon. And so we've been really uh, sitting down and working through uh, those in the last uh, week or so. But funnily enough, you guys will be the... you guys will be able to pick the first barrel before we even pick our barrel. I was I was going to, <sighs> to bring so that up. First. I was going to bring that up because I, I, I am very surprised by that statement. Like my inclination would have been that you guys would have done it so, so quickly. You would have jumped on that opportunity so quickly. So I guess my question is, what are you waiting on, man? <laughs> well, yeah, we, we just, it's funny you ask because, you know, we had the seven year rye come out and we made no fanfare about that at all because yeah. we didn't want to run out of product. Again. Yeah, sure. So what you see in the cellar door now is what we have left of that. Uh, and we've got enough to get us through, which is great. Um, and then we knew we had our ten year coming down the pike, and we had to get that all approved and and bottled right. and everything. Uh, so that's good. But we didn't want to rush the bourbon, and we wanted to make sure it was what we wanted. And you know, we had I forget how many barrels we got sitting up, but uh, you know, we pulled the first ten. Uh, but we haven't chosen the first. We'll probably bottle f- three or four barrels to start, uh, and it'll be one of these five. Um, but you guys are getting first dibs at it. I love you, Greg. Did you know? Did you know that? <laughs> I mean, I, I, I had not like seen any. I didn't know how first it was. <clears throat> it's first, first. It's not. Yeah, it's not yeah. just first. You know, I'm like, I, know. I've not seen anybody picking one or anything like that. So I was like, maybe the first like barrel pick or something like that. So like, like this isn't out. <laughs> it's not even bottled yet. Yeah, It'll be bottled next week. I mean, what what's really cool for us about that as well is that you you are 
kind of giving us the opportunity to share with the people that are the closest with the content that we create and the closest to us, Mm -hmm. just as far as like people who believe in what we do. And we get to kind of build that bridge between the, the two parties. Yeah. And, you know, allow them the chance to, to come in and see what it is that we have been talking about for the the first quarter of this year that we've just been such big fans of. Mm -hmm. And, and I mean, it it's it's so <clears throat> invigorating for me to not only like have that opportunity but also to have that opportunity with somebody who has a clear view of where they want to go with the company with their company you know what i if mean that like, means a plan well <laughs> that's probably not accurate all right <laughs> <laughs> i will say though uh. I feel I feel confident in saying something to the effect of, I don't think you guys are going anywhere anytime soon. Oh, man. As far yeah. as like far, yeah. like going away. Phew. No, yeah, you guys are just going to be stuck here. Thanks for the here. clarification. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Sorry, I realized this. <laughs> when you that gave me that, that, that when you gave me that look, I was like, oh, now I hear it. <laughs> um. <laughs> uh, look, we've been very fortunate and, uh, you know, we've been lucky. And, you know, that rye came out way, way, way better than I was hoping it would. Uh, all of our uh, four and a half year stuff is, I you know I wish there's I wish I had a scientific answer or a, a better answer, but it's just turned out way better than I expected. Yeah, yeah, that's so. that's all you can ask for. Sometimes luck is better than skill, <laughs> right? Well, in the case in point with our ten year, uh, you know we had the ten barrels. We we're going to do it um, as a single barrel, which is what we like to do here, and. Uh, you know, eight of the barrels were really good. Oh, well, probably seven were really good. Two were good enough to go single barrel, and one was just so hot it burned your face off. And they were all down next to each other, right? Yeah. Actually, it might have been two that were too hot. To, but anyhow, so we're like, ah. So we're playing around with it all, and we're you know we're cutting it, and we're doing this, and we're doing that. Anyhow, then um, um, we're up at the distillery, and we put the we just do equal. Bits of everything, yeah, right. Yeah. And now we've got a, a, a consulting distiller at the minute, and uh, she's like, "This won't work. This is going to be a train wreck, right? The, <laughs> the equal amounts." Anyhow, she does it and she drinks it, and she's like, "This is amazing." <laughs> You're like, "Hold my Vegemite." I was, I was, and I'm like, "Um, are you just like bullshitting me, or is it really actually good?" Right. She's gone yeah. try it. It's fantastic, and she said she'd never seen that happen before ever. So, I mean, and we mixed them. They're they're just oh. ten whole barrels, all got dumped, and that's what it is. Nice, that's awesome. Yeah, we were really like, oh. I was really pleased. I mean, you guys were going to get the two hot barrels to pick from. Otherwise, <laughs> that would have been what we did with them. Hey, that that is exciting. I I'm, I keep like wanting to jump ahead of myself, but I we do have to go through our protocol of the episode. I know we're getting too know. excited right now. What have you been? I just keep looking at those samples. Over. <laughs> um, what have I been? Dr- I mean, you're going to make me follow Greg after that. I I made a nice uh, bourbon and uh, cherry Coke Zero the other day. That's hey, fine. What kind of bourbon? Uh, I put a. I had some um, old Pogue. Was that the one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, old yeah, yeah. Pogue. Put a little um, spicy cherry bitters in it, and I made a great, great uh, cherry Coke and bourbon. What's the old Pogue like? I haven't had that yet. Mm, it's, uh, I always get a lot of cherry, cherry on it. It's mm-hmm. a very sweet, it's like 90 proof, I think. Okay. Um, it's just an easy, easy thing to sip yeah. on. Um, it's kind of pricey, I think. Uh, that bottle was actually given to me by, um, my friend Todd Cooper. Um, but yeah, it's a lot of cherry. It's <clears throat> very, a very, sweet vanilla cherry uh bourbon yeah so that's that's pretty much what i've had had some beer nothing nothing special uh i don't know man i just can't stop thinking about these samples i know right (laughs) (laughs) uh i did get another bottle you remember that uh knob creek pick that i just found at liquor barn yeah 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 from 2020 oh you found another one i found another one there's still some wow. at that liquor barn too. It's crazy. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
It can, they they picked it like the week before everything mm-hmm. shut down. Is that the the twelve year? No, this was a nine, just a single barrel from oh, okay. from mm-hmm. not uh, from liquor bar, which is great. But oh, it's yeah. one. Of, it's one of my favorite bourbons. He has yeah. a lot, <laughs> a lot of knob creek, lots of knob, a lot of knob, a lot of um, knob. I'm just gonna go over here. Yeah, that's fine. Um, anyway, <laughs> as, as Greg scoots out of the picture, <laughs> so I, I I guess before we get too far into this, I have to ask you, what can't we say about these barrels? Uh, nothing really. So we can talk about where they were made. Uh, no, there we go. So <laughs> I can, I can tell you that they're, they're made at a uh, small, uh, uh, craft distillery here in Kentucky. There That's we all we need to know. There we go. So I'm fine with that. They're not, um, they're not from a big house. Nothing wrong with the big houses, but that's just not where these are from. Right. Were, were you instrumental in... <clears throat> Like, were you able to just kind of go in and pick which barrels you wanted? Were you given the option of barrels, or did you yeah, kind of work on this from the ground up? No, we did. Um, we've had these for a number of years now. Like, we bought them early. And that was why when I say we're surprised with how good they turned out, we didn't really know. We were almost <laughs> drinking, tasting white dog. Yeah. Right? So... You gotta uh, have good white dog though. You do have if to the have white, good white dog's dog. not good. It's no, you can't polish a turd. You, you, it's true. <laughs> and you know, so we did that, and you know, I didn't know, you know, shit from Shinola when I was doing this. Still don't, frankly. But um, the the thing is, it's uh, they just they just worked. Yeah. And uh, you know, we they when I say they sat next to each other on our rack, they did. They were all next to each other, and uh, they've been sitting like that for four years. And yeah, it's just how they came out. Nice. Shall we start? I say we start. We can start trying them. We can talk a little bit about <coughs> everything as we go. And, yeah, I'd yeah. say that's a good idea. We sip, sip, and chat. Eleven yeah. A. All right. Eleven A. So these guys, uh, they're all uh, uh, same, uh, 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 laid down at the same time, all that sort of thing. Right when they well, these guys as they've gone into the little sample bottles are uh, uh, were four and a half years, maybe just over that. Okay, uh, they're uh, our very first um releases we did was 75, uh, 21, uh, four. Uh, these guys we wanted to when we got them, we wanted to see you know exactly where our sweet spot was going to be. Right. Thank you. So these guys are 71, uh, I'm saying uh, uh, 70. 21.9. So, uh, you know, we just added a bit more barley, dropped down the corn just a touch. Yeah. So this is the uh, this is the first of the five barrels. Oh, that nose. This smells... This smells like... If you... Have, have you been to Three Boys? No, or I've I guess heard you talk is, about it. So, I mean, they're, they're not called that now. They're called... Uh, Whiskey Thief. Whiskey Thief, mm-hmm. thank you. This smells like their distillery smells. It's out on a farm, you know, they're, they're, it's an operational farm mm-hmm. as well, but they're making whiskey on it. And it's got that that kind of effervescence of you can smell the the whiskey kind of lingering in the air. It you smells know? like peaches and cream spiked with whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I just got right in No, it smells too. like, it's, it's, it wouldn't be the first time I've been there. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's it's like peaches and cream, and you're like a there's like a bourbon with you. Oh, <laughs> <clears throat> that finish! Ooh, I know I know the finish is usually the last thing you get, but like a lot of times I base a, everything that I really like on the finish because it it's the last thing I get, but it's the thing that lasts the longest yeah. to me, mm. and. Um, yeah, that finish is like, it's kind of savory, but, but there's, you, a, there's it, a sweetness There's to a it. sweetness, yeah. I, mm-hmm. I think it's like a coffee sweetness. And maybe it's the coffee that's more sitting like next to me. Uh, no, more like coffee coffee beans. Okay. Like a lighter roasted coffee yeah. bean where it's not gotten so much of the, the bitterness um, in it. Yeah, it doesn't have any coffee bitterness. No, yeah. no, there's no bitterness at all. It but. has... I, I actually get a bit of that cocoa kind of, uh, yeah, uh, maybe like a mocha. It, mm. it is like, yeah, it's it's a very dark, 
It's a dark sweet. And not not necessarily like a dark chocolate, but yeah, like a mocha. Um, and that finish is just great. That finish just lasts. And it, yeah. you get the dark mocha, and then it kind of brings back that peaches and cream on the nose on the nose that you got. Mm. That's a strong start. Uh, and these are all uh, around 120 to 123 proof. Okay. What were the, do we know the ages, do we say? Oh, uh, four and a half. Four and a half. Yeah. And that's so good because it doesn't <sighs> taste like that. it's four and a half. I know. Time. And there's nothing wrong with four and a half year old. Well, no. But it just it, tastes above that. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, you asked her before, you know, what was the delay in bringing stuff out. Originally, we were going to leave our first batch up until it was five years. But we were trying all the time. And then I had a, a very good friend of mine that's, uh, you know, one of the sort of uh, uh, bourbon industry uh, godfathers kind of deal. And I asked him to try it. And he's like, Greg, just get that out of the barrel and put it in a bottle. And when he said that, I was like, I can do that. So that's how we uh, have four and a half year, not five year. Do you want to take private bets on who it is? <laughs> yeah. Yes. I, I asked Eric. <laughs> well, it's going to be Jim Hartley. <laughs> I ain't taking no bet. <laughs> no. What, are you scared of this? No, scary Perry's here. Bear. Scary Perry, get out of here. <laughs> so before we get on to the next one, like, I know you've probably said it a million times talking to people, but like, what's the short version of the guy from Australia comes and starts doing Kentucky <laughs> yeah. bourbon? Um, very short version. Um, I was in the military for uh, a couple of decades. Uh, the Australian um, uh, uh, Royal Australian Navy for about 11 years. Um, and uh, then I was recruited over in 2000. And Gosh, two after we'd uh, no two thousand three after we'd uh, no is that right I can't remember too many knocks on the head. Um, I was recruited over into the U.S. Navy uh, and served there for ten years um, or yeah ten years I guess uh, and retired as the uh, executive officer down at um, Expeditionary Combat Command reservist at that point. Um, you know deployed a bunch, uh, got banged on the head and. Um, lots of other uh, nasty things. And, uh, you know, so it was one of those things where it was uh, had to get out of the big city and, you know, had PTSD and traumatic brain injury and all that sort of stuff. So uh, uh, my wife left her – she was a, a diplomat with the U.S. Um, State Department. Uh, she left that career because she decided she wanted to be a, a nurse and help veterans because I have a lot of friends that missing arms, legs, eyes, sure. all that sort of stuff. And uh, – <laughs> Uh, so she went and did that, which was amazing. You know, it was a second career and opportunity popped up here for her at UK. So we came and, you know, and I was doing a little bit of work uh, down here as well. And I loved Kentucky, but we didn't know a single person here in Lexington. And uh, But then we brought the dogs down for a couple of weeks and the dogs liked it too. So we're like, well, heck, let's move. Yeah, that's a good sign. Right yeah. there. What are we doing? <laughs> They've got great dog parks here. They like really in Lexington, yeah, yeah they're fantastic. Uh, like the, Jacobson Park the, is, yeah, that we lived right there, right by there. Oh, really? Yeah, and it when we first moved here, and it had like a horse paddocks, yeah, for yeah, dogs. Yeah, yeah. It was fabulous, so really cool. That's really why we moved here because the dog liked it. Um, Nobody talks enough about our dog parks, and no, they're fantastic. Anyhow, um, <laughs> then one day we were uh, just sitting around, and it was like, well, let's uh, go for a drive, and so we went, you know, into Midway for sales, drove, all, which should be pronounced for Cy, but I digress. <laughs> yeah, um, you're not the first person to say that. <laughs> and we're driving around, and then we thought, oh, we'll, uh, we were going to go up to Danville and uh, or Bardstown, I can't remember, and we're like, oh, well, let's stop in this place, Lawrenceburg, for lunch. It was a Sunday, so of course nothing was open. Yeah. <laughs> um, so instead of doing anything else, we got out Zillow, went and got a you know, a, a sandwich and drove around looking at farms. <laughs> and we drove up on this farm uh, and it's coincidentally uh, half a mile from Four Roses here in Lawrenceburg. And uh, we drove up on this farm and I'm like, I wasn't influenced at all by the fact it was next door to Four not. Roses. Of course not. No, yeah. See, my wife didn't. She's like, this house is very good. Don't worry about it. It's got a great <laughs> view. <laughs> it's it's Just, got great bones. Look, yeah, at the, yeah. look at the Spanish architecture over those hills. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's what it was like. And uh, so it was like, well, uh, if we can, if, and the farm is just beautiful, and we we're like, well, if we can buy it, 
if we can afford to buy it, we're going to buy it and move. We're going to become farmers. Yeah. I thought, well, that'd be a good retirement job. I can be a farmer. Cutting very shortly to it, I'm like the worst farmer <laughs> ever. <laughs> like ever. What's I'm, the opposite of a green thumb? Oh, my God. I'm scared of cows. <laughs> I can't. Horses, like, freak me out. I can't grow anything. I can't ride the tractor properly. So it was like, okay, now what do I do? So make, make, make bourbon. bourbon. Yeah. Uh-huh. And that's how we fell into it. And what's been amazing, and I've, I've said this to many people, is how extraordinarily helpful everyone in the bourbon industry is from someone like Brent Elliott at Four Roses to the you know the big guys down here, just down the road here at Wild Turkey, to the to the uh, um, Gina that runs the um, uh, logistics and all the warehousing for Woodford. Yeah, everyone has, but and then you know down into you know the whiskey thief guys and everyone. Oh yeah, uh, have just been so generous with their time and advice and help. Uh, it's just been wonderful, and that that I couldn't have done it without that because I had no clue what I was doing. I, I think that's something that while we we tend to kind of talk about it in slightly ambiguous terms. It is good to kind of hear it from, a, a, a you know, just a, a first-person account that so much of the bourbon industry isn't about competition. It's, yeah. You know, uh, it's, and, you know, there's no one way to make bourbon. There's no one way to produce a flavor palette and I think that's what we see so so often being appreciated is that mm-hmm. there is room for, and this is kind of counterintuitive to something I was talking about um, this past week, just about like the oversaturation of the bourbon market. Because I right. mean, there there are so many brands and so many bottles that are out there, there are. right now, but <clears throat> that doesn't mean that there isn't the opportunity for people to go in and just find something that they like and, you know, go through that trial and error of it all. And and, and you know what, Perry, I think it's, that's one of the reasons it's becoming more the, you know, just looking at it from the outside. Right. So we've been doing this officially for about a year. Right. uh, Which is no time at all. But what's really hit me is if people try your stuff or try something new or whatever, they'll be like, oh, you know what? That's pretty good. I'll try yeah. that instead of getting my regular Maker's Mark or my regular Knob Creek or whatever, the which is good. Yeah. But if they try it and they uh, they like it or want to give it a go, they will. And they, they're they willing to. And I think it's really hit me is I now understand why all these big companies and all the, you know, all the craft distillers too have tasting rooms. Yeah, because they want people to put it in their mouth and try it. And you know, people come in here and never heard of us before. You know, we're on the Bourbon Trail, like, where we are, bookended by Four Rows and Wild Turkey. <laughs> people just walk in and you know, like you did, um, yeah. and came in and just try the stuff. And they're like, "Never heard of you." Well, of course you haven't, because <laughs> you know we don't have a billboard. Yeah, uh, but they'll buy it. But they wouldn't have bought it if it was just sitting on the shelf at. Liquor barn. Exactly. In a million years. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's not, and it's nice to like, you know, you're here, you're talking to them like, this is your thing. And like, people don't, you know, people don't get to like just walk into Four Roses and there's Brent sitting there like, oh, what do you think of my product here? You know, yeah. you don't see it. You don't I see it. I bet those. Brent would love to do that all day. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure he would. He would. Yeah. He, he, it's like when you go and see um, Mr. Russell down here. Yeah. Oh, you know, when he purchases up in the in the gift shop there. Yeah. <laughs> he's a great guy. He's always eating next door at uh, the restaurant. I won't say the name in case uh, everyone tries to mob him down there. But um, he's there all the time. Yeah. And he's the nice. And if you go and talk to him, if someone recognizes him, he's the nicest, nicest man. Do you want to run next door and see if he's there just so we can? <laughs> hey. You can look out and see if, he's, <laughs> if, if his car's there. Jimmy! <laughs> Jimmy, you want to do a podcast? He busts, he busts in. He's on a scooter and he busts through the door. He's like the, the right. Kool-Aid man. He's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me, though. Riding dirties playing yeah. in the background. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sorry. That was a long version of, of all that. Oh, no, it's okay, man. Um, you may pour up the next one while we're getting ready. I say we we go for it. This is – this. we named this one especially 12A. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So – I got it. Put some respect on the yeah. name. 12A, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we put a lot of thought into our 
barrels. I can, and, see, I can you know, see that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we really try and like, you know, obfuscate where it's from so you could never find it if you broke into the into the uh, barrel house. The twelve A written on the side would give it away, probably, but <laughs> nonetheless, if you know the people, yeah, you know. <laughs> right, yes. So, and I'm not um, making this up. When, thank you. Apart from trying this out of the bottle, uh, well, when we bought these back in yesterday, I sent you that picture. Yeah, I hadn't tried it out of the bottle before, really, ever. So we'd always just taken it out of the cask, and uh, <laughs> so I'm really sitting here trying these with you for the first time. That is a complete 180 from the first bit. Oh, <laughs> yeah, okay. it is. Whoa. That's that's like smelling a bag of Skittles. Like, I <laughs> I smell, like, Greg, I, 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 you've probably heard of this before, and I've I mentioned it over and over on the podcast, but I smell and taste a lot of times in colors. Like, I would just, like, smell, or I'll taste something, I'll instantly see, like, a purple or, like, a brown or something like that. Yep. I smelled that and I saw like a like a bag of Skittles. Like it was like there's red, yellow, purple, like this is it's complex. There's so many colors going on like I can't even describe hardly what is what the smell is, but it's Skittles. It's like this candy uh it's like can- candy and biscuits. I don't know. Maybe a biscuit it's, with a bunch of different jelly on it or something like that? I mean, you mean like an American biscuit, right? Oh, <laughs> right. I got to specify, I forgot. I had to make sure. Not a cookie. Not a cookie. <laughs> Mama's homemade biscuits with a bunch of jelly. See, to me, that is different even when I had it, a tiny bit of it yesterday out of the, out of the uh, t- sample bottle for the first time. It's different already. Yeah, yeah. It's amazing. I'm sorry I'm being quiet. I'm like trying to contemplate what's happening here because it's so layered and it's got so much interesting complexity to it because like it starts out with this kind of bready, buttery, savory mm-hmm. note and it, it very quickly takes a turn into like nougat and then it just kind of stays with nougat until like a caramel and... A little bit of like red berries. It's a, it's a pop up Snickers bar with like some kind yeah. of extra like strawberry. If you made like a big Snickers cake, uh, oh, I love Snickers and you cakes. and you used like like some kind of drizzle on top of it. Yeah, that was like, yeah. yeah. Oh, and the thing is, like, it's wildly good. So I I love when like a bourbon is you read the label and it says 120 plus proof and it it punches you in the face. I love that. But I also love when you see that and then you're like, oh my God, like this, how is this 100? And like to me, this is a soothing, fun, Mm -hmm. like desserty bourbon that you're like, there's no way this is 120. I mean... I, 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 I agree. Yeah, it's just where, you know, I don't need that punch on this. Like, I don't even need to know that it's like 100. Like, it's just, that's just like the icing on the cake. That's just like, it's 120 plus proof. Can I say something? I was a little bit skeptical of including it in today, but I think that the way to go before you do a barrel pick is to have a Vegemite cracker. Oh, boy. <laughs> because oh, it I has so like, too. it has like, it opened up like your palate. Your palate. Right? There's something about the saltiness of it that it's just made me feel like Ooh. I can really just taste right now. I mean, we might start doing that at cellar door. I think you should. <laughs> Man, that is good. For that's that that is exactly what you said, Perry. For the appetizer, we have it's it's a uh, Vegemite <laughs> cracker <laughs> and some bourbon. Um, yeah, it's a notice it's, the interplay uh, between the two. <laughs> <laughs> Crap! What am I doing? Perry no, is, no, I'm Perry's having a good day. I haven't taken my medicine yet today. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Perry's on one. I remember driving in here. I haven't either, so this could go really <laughs> downhill quick. I love it because I just I love the chaos, and so I'm just like, let's go, baby. Um, yeah, it's a Snickers, it's a cake. It's a Snickers cake with like some kind of like strawberry cherry drizzle on top of it. Like you get the nougat, you get the savory, you get the chocolate, really and then like there's this bright spot on yeah. it. Yeah, and and it's funny too because I kind of get the, like the texture of a spongy cake 
as well. Like it, it, it feels yep. like a very visceral. I feel experience. like in the front, like in my mouth here, yep. like in the down here, like where you put a dip. That's kind of where I. Get I've never the, dipped before, so I don't have that point of reference. But uh, not I, don't, I, I, put, I put beef jerky there. Oh well, yeah, <laughs> same thing. My, one of my best friends' brother, when we were like, when we were like, thir- <laughs> when we were like thirteen, he gave us some dip, and I thought I was gonna puke my brains out. Like, like that scene in the Sandlot. Yeah, it was bad. It was bad. <laughs> I was like, I was on like a level when I was like 13 years old. I was like, I'm going to die. Tell me, like, when I'm asking these questions, it's because this is the first time I'm really sitting down and drinking yeah, this from the bottle. Like, I've taken it out of the barrel a bunch, right, but not right, like right. this. It almost strikes me that the nose doesn't really represent the palate on this one. It's, it, it, it I is. I have to agree. Yeah. There, there are plenty of stuff that I've had that I love that is like, it's like nose to palate. It's the same. And then I, I like when things are different too, because you get two experiences. You get a Skittles nose, and then all of a sudden you're eating a Snickers cake. Yeah. I, I think that it's, I don't think that it's a, a detriment to the no, product no, by I any, like it by any like, means. I like, but, yeah. Mm-hmm. But I can, I can understand like, the concern over it. Well, well there's I guess. been plenty of stuff we've had that we're like, oh, this smells great. And then we taste it and we're like, it's like, this mm. is hot garbage. Yeah. But when you get two, <laughs> a good nose that's different than the palate and the palate is good too, then it's like you've got two for one. We had a couple of casts like that in the first lot. Yeah. I'm wondering if I should just do that too. I'm just putting them here. I was like, if we get in. Like oh, we got plenty. Or, so yeah. when you want to do uh, the re, yeah. the re go, I was just fair enough. Clean my glass. Um, I'll go ahead and pour up three, but I have a I have a question for Greg. Yeah, do I know what this question is? I bet you I do. Twelve B. Twelve B. Do I, do you know? I don't know. Yeah. Is it about what he likes to snack on nope. when he's drinking bourbon? No, nope. I'm okay. trying. I'm I am taking this interview serious. I'm proud of you. And I've done some research and oh. homework, and Ooh. I'm going to ask Greg okay. a question because yes. I followed along with this. Okay. This is hot ones all of a sudden. Right. Yeah, so geez. I'm not going I'm not going to name anything um because it's kind of a general question, but <laughs> I saw how you handled some internet criticism recently mm-hmm. because I'm not going to say who did it. There was a post talking I think it might have been about the 100% rye. It was, yeah. Um and oh, yeah, somebody was like, oh, don't, uh, you can't trust that label because you never, because you're transparent. You said it's from Canada, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Alberta, yeah. Alberta. And they tried to call you out and say, well, Canada doesn't have the same rules as us and stuff like that. And I saw that you handled it very well. I'm not going to go into that because it was whatever. But as, how do you, how do you handle criticism like that? Especially when I know you knew this person. I I saw the interaction. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, as someone who you know, you're you've got a business, you've got this starting up, and you know, there's people you're you're sourcing. And let me just say, like, I understand that it's you know, to be a distiller is a big thing. But I don't look at somebody that just sources and be like, well, they like you have to have a good palate, you have to know what you're doing, you're running a business, so it's just <clears throat> you know, it doesn't that doesn't mean anything to me. Like you, it's who runs the business. And how do you handle that criticism when somebody's like saying, oh, you're just sourcing a product or, oh, like you don't, we don't even know where this comes from and stuff because you know where it comes from right? and you're putting it in a bottle and you know, what people are tasting is what you decided needs to be put out there. Right. So I guess I'm just saying like, what's it like having to deal with that kind of criticism? Yeah. So stuff? that's a, uh, a really good question, Eric. I mean, uh, if you ask my wife, my family, anyone, they say I handle criticism extraordinarily badly. <laughs> like I don't react to criticism at any level, whether it's how I stack the dishwasher, whether it's how I how I can't drive a tractor, how I don't care when I'm spelling, whatever. Uh, so not well. Thank you. Spell but in, cow. C A W. Right. <laughs> right. And you Dang know, it. who cares? Everyone knows what I meant. <laughs> but in this instance, you know, this was an industry guy that I knew and uh, he was like, well, you can't trust anything that comes from Canada because it's all crap and blah, blah. I'm like, yeah. hang on a second. And I was going to let it ride. And then I thought, no, I'm not. And so <laughs> I just was as respectful as I could be. And I said, you know, give me a break here. We're a small business. We're starting up. We know exactly where it came from. Uh, 
we picked it. Yeah. Uh, you don't know what you're talking about. You've never tried it. You have no idea of where it came from, who made it, yeah. anything. I do. Uh, and it's bloody good. Yeah. So, and, and I, and then I said, you know, if you're going to, you know, we want to take the higher ground and sh- sort of lift all boats. And if you want to shit on a, a another small distillery, well, that's up to you. Yeah. And we just left it at that. Uh, so if it comes from the industry, I would always sort of just say what's what. Yeah. If it's from a punter, generally you nod and just say, yes, right. you're right. Right. <laughs> it's just easier. I, uh, but I, like I said, I, I thought you handled it well because it wasn't like, it wasn't like you went for like this, like somebody wrote you a response and you had to put that on there. Like I could tell that you were like, that was a legit passionate reply and, but it didn't go overboard and you weren't just like, Oh, this guy's just saying whatever. Now I like, said that in the shop, yeah, <laughs> but not on the, but the, yeah. the amazing thing with that was that I think that got more likes and responses yeah. than anything I've ever posted. Yeah. Which was extraordinary to me. Like yeah. I didn't really, I did it, and that was it. Yeah. And everyone's liking it, and they're giving a thumbs up, and they're doing this, and, which is great. And uh, you know, we, you know, and we're we're not going to have our own product out that where comes out of our still and for another four years. Right. You know, we're building the distillery right, right. now down on one twenty seven. Um, and we've got an eight hundred gallon uh, uh, um, hybrid still, which is it's beautiful, and uh, I don't know how to work it, but. Someone does, yeah. And uh, we'll have a. We're building a uh, a really big visitor uh, center. Well, we're, we're repurposing a building. It's on a lake. Uh-huh. We're right way between four rows, uh, four rows of wild turkey and um, uh, buffalo trace. Uh-huh. Right on one twenty seven between Lawrenceburg and Frankfurt. The Holy Trinity. The Holy Trinity. <laughs> and uh, you know we're going to have the, you know we're going to have our distiller and our bottling line in building this building and next order is going to be our visitor center. And I was actually out there this morning to take one of our contractors through and uh, the guy with the key didn't turn up. So it was pouring with rain. We're trying to do measurements and the uh, guy with the key doesn't turn up and doesn't pick up his phone. Where's the, you had one job. One Bring job. The key. Come on, key man. <laughs> one job. The key master. Key man, if you're listening to this. Oh, he's called me like 18 yeah. times since we've been sitting here. <laughs> he's like, shit, Greg, I'm sorry, man. Yeah, he's going to feel the wrath of... Wrath of Greg Vengeance this Greg. afternoon. Scary Greg. Scary yeah. Greg. <laughs> I'll put on my work face. I I jumped the gun a little bit here. I want to ask you about that hybrid still in a second as well, mm. because I'm very curious about it. Um, I jumped the gun a little bit on this one. I'm getting the feeling this might be one of the in-your-face slap-you-hot barrels. When I tried this yesterday for the first time out of the bottle, I've got a I got the tobacco out of it but now that i'm i, I this, don't know this smells like a it it border these are all bourbons right mm-hmm. this borders a rye. that's what it. i was thinking it, too we uh emily uh that uh is our uh, lead bourbon steward here and runs all our front of house shout she's like shout out to emily it's her birthday today happy birthday happy birthday, happy birthday emily, emily! <laughs> 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 um her <laughs> her comment was this tastes like a rye because yeah, it actually smells rye. Like, it, it smells it like def- rye. I, you would have fooled me. Yeah, it smells like a toasted rye. Like it does it, smell it like it smells like rye with like marshmallow and like um, graham cracker. Tastes like a rye. <laughs> it's it, a it's it's a little hot. It's a little hot. Like it's 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 very ethanol forward. Yeah. But the rye spice is present. I I think. This might be the first one where I can kind of say we can eliminate it. Sorry, Greg. Um, he's sitting right here, and I'm like, yeah, this is right. <laughs> he's going to kick us out no, of the this shop. Is, this is definitely going to be. This is this is going to be a good barrel. It's it's entirely different. Oh, it, it absolutely is. is. It, I swear, it's a, it, it goes. It's raw on the nose. It's raw on the palate. To me, like I would it, think this was a raw, and it's exactly the same. Unless I slipped a barrel in when we bought it yeah, four right. years ago. <laughs> I am still burping up Vegemite. But it's way. even got that, uh, <laughs> it's got that sort of burn your nostrils yeah, yeah. sort of thing going on, it which does. I actually don't mind when I'm drinking a rye. Yeah. No, I don't, I don't either. But as far as like a bourbon goes, I think we might be, what do you think? Yeah, I don't disagree. Yeah. Um, I definitely like the first two more than this one. 
There's the weirdness of this being a bourbon, and I'm swear to God, I'm tasting a toasted rye product. That just, like, <laughs> you know, there's something in my head that's like that's amazing. Um, but I would, I would probably choose one or two over. Yeah, this I would one. agree with that. The the funny thing is though, like yesterday when Emily and I were just trying these, we had like because we we got them and we just tried a tiny bit. When when I sent that photo to you last night, this was the one we liked the most. Really? Yeah, last night. We only had a dribble. and Sure. But it was, yeah, this was the one I had the three ticks next to. Now, I will say, going back to this, uh, after a couple of sips, it does start to get kind of like caramel vanilla creamy, especially on the front end of the palate. But I I was- It's kind of marshmallowy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Kind of like marshmallow fluff. Yep. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah. Still lock it. I do too. I just think I like- and that's yeah. the thing, right? Everything's relative. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. If you, we had done this tomorrow, could have been completely different. But also, if you had have tasted that against something that was different, you would have gone, oh, I love that one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, you know, the what we do here, and everyone's like, oh, why have you put out four bourbons to try that are all exactly the same? Yeah. And this is the exact reason I don't, we do it. I, yeah, and I don't want that. <laughs> right. But we it's put- boring. But they're all, they're the same mash bill, same, they're the same batch, same everything. And people don't understand when they first come in, they're like, well, can't we try this one and this one instead? And our point is these barrels sat next to each other in the rack and they're exactly the same age, the same everything. Yeah. But they are distinctly different. And what it does for people that are visiting and trying that sort of thing for the first time, they really get it. They're yeah. like, damn, this can't be the same. You're like, I can tell you it is the same. I guarantee yeah. it. Well, that's a, a good example was when I came in the first time and I picked up our samples and I did the tasting and there was that guy, He, I think he was a local guy or he was visiting or something and like, he was like, I was tasting through everything and I was like, oh my gosh, like this one is this, this one, this. And he was kind of like, I've never really thought about like how they're different and stuff like that. And so then he like kind of took his time and he was like, you know what? Like these are, and like, it kind of, it kind of opened, like you could see like something yep. open up to him. He was like, wow. Like I just, well, I was just enjoying it. And like, they all tasted kind of the same. And now when I've actually thought about it, like, or took my time with them, like, no, oh, they are different. But, and he was just some guy, just random dude. Like, was- and that's what we love. It's just giving them that experience of, and that's why right now we have three rise out. Yeah. And they're all the seven year old rye, but they're all, as you know, uh-huh. they're really different. Yeah. yeah. Totally. And yeah. some people like that one, some people like that one, and some people like that one. So I wanna I wanna ask you this too, because the I think what we've kind of been darting around here is that and I mean you have explicitly said it too, that yeah, you don't have a big billboard. No. Right? You don't you don't have a mass marketing campaign in the way that uh some even slightly larger mm-hmm. companies do. So I'm I'm curious from that standpoint, aside from being a small business, aside from being largely unknown and people not really having the much of a chance to try your product, mm-hmm. what has been kind of the the biggest hurdle that you all have had to overcome? Uh, in finding success with Lawrence Burke Bourbon Company, because I mean, mm. it, you know, even the name sounds like something where you can kind of be like, "Oh, well, I know them; they've been around forever." And then you're like, "Oh no, they've been around for about a year." <laughs> right? It's it's interesting. We're the first um, uh, distillery to ever carry the Lawrenceburg name, despite this road where we're right on Main Street here. All the bourbon barons lived up the yeah. street just here. Yeah, yeah. You know, Rippy and all those guys all literally lived up here. Did you know that? Um, mm-hmm. oh, the the Rippy houses. Oh, oh but there's a whole bunch. CSC uh. lived up yeah, here yeah. and all these guys all lived on this road, like not not half a mile from here. Um, so there's been all these amazing distilleries and in Lawrenceburg and not one of them's ever carried the name. Yeah. So uh, when we found that out, we were like, well, that's much better than the stupid name I came up with before. So that's, that's how we came to it. Um, we won't put yeah. you on the spot. You can save that for another venture. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That I could write a book about all the stupid names we came up with. Um, this nose might be the one that it. I get everything and then I get the punch too. I guess we didn't really get a full answer. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, we yeah. Gotta, what, we was gotta... answer? what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> the biggest hurdle that you all have had oh, to yeah. overcome. Um, look, there's a lot. Uh, 
but from a perspective of getting the name out there, it's, you know, Emily, you know, we have a, a very significant um, social media department, which is Emily. Uh, oh, she's making TikTok when I came in. Oh, yeah. yeah. She's just on that, all, that, that, that old thing all the time. Um, that's been super helpful. But I think the single thing hurdle-wise is, you know, we talked a minute ago about people trying the product, right? And we've got a million visitors or 800,000 visitors a year go between Four Roses and, and Buffalo Trace. But they're not stopping on Main Street and yeah. Linesburg. Yeah, yeah. So just getting the name out there and and uh, um, getting folks to want to visit. We just set up a online booking. So we've just started taking online bookings and that's made a huge difference. Mm-hmm. So now we have like a couple of bookings a day that are coming in, which is a huge change. But then the folks up in the gift shop at Buffalo, at uh, Wild, uh, Wild Turkey, at uh, Four Roses, have been sending people down here. Like they've visited there and then That's they say, so you, cool. so oh, man, like it happens all. Oh. What's, what's the raise the tides, the boats that yeah. sail together, yeah. raise. Like you know, it, the rising it, tide raises all ships. It yeah, happens yeah, regularly. Yeah. Like and, and from wild turkey. Yeah. Like regularly. People come in, oh, the guys up there said. Because what happens is the big guys, wild turkey, buffalo trace, et cetera, uh, four roses, close at 4 o'clock. We stay open until 6.30. Yeah, So <laughs> no one's finished having drinks at no. 4 o'clock. So they just say, well, go down to see these guys. And we've got the bar here as well, so we can make your cocktail if that's what you want. Yeah. You can do the full tasting, you can do all that, and you can buy the stuff to leave. Yeah. So um, it's been great for us. And, you know, again, that's the whole thing about, you know, these big guys are helping us do this. Right. And, you know, in another few months, I don't know when they're opening, but Old Commonwealth is going to open uh, on the Old Crow site, which is 10 minutes from here. Whoa. And that's going to be a small craft distillery as well. So all of a sudden you'll have those three big guys – You'll have uh, Whiskey Thief, uh, Lawrenceburg Bourbon, and Old Commonwealth all within like five miles. So, yeah. so Old Commonwealth is going to be sharing space with Glens Creek then? No, I'm sorry. I said Crow. No, um, at the old, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, it I genuinely where, don't know. <laughs> it was what? Oh, my gosh. Now I'm having a brain fart. I'll think of it in a second. That's second. okay. But they, it was where uh, Pappy stored all their product and until they sold the brand of Buffalo Trace. Um, it's literally 10 minutes from here, straight down that road. and uh, But they're, they'll, they're spending a lot of money and they're building that out and it's going to be fantastic. Yeah. But that's going to be another craft distillery with an actual still like we're going to do. And, you know, we'll be punching out a couple of barrels a day with our new stuff and they'll be doing the same, about the same. And all of a sudden you have those, you've got, you know, three craft distillers, you know, di- of different sizes. And then you've got the two big ones and they're literally within five miles. Right. And it makes sense because, I mean, you, you'd you have to be a psychopath to like come to Lawrenceburg and go to one place and just leave. You know what I mean? Like nobody is Ooh. doing that. Nobody, you, you know, you come to one place, you're going to be like, well. So you're saying, you're saying we have to go to Wild Turkey after this? No, I'm saying we, <laughs> live, come. we live here. Jimmy might be there. We, he, might be, he might be next door. We live here. Let's go knock I'm, on the wall. But if you're making a big, you're planning your day. Yeah. And you're going to hit as many places as you can because you're making a day of it. And it makes all the sense to just work together. Like why, like, you know, somebody, we won't say who it was shitting on somebody's product or whatever it was, <laughs> right. but, but like they come here. It was Fred. Man. <laughs> Damn ass, you, Fred. The was ascot not, was on too tight. <laughs> um, <laughs> he was a keyboard warrior. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> that would be bad if it was. Uh, yeah. Right. Um, but it yeah. was not. It was not Fred. I will definitely say it was Fred. Not Fred. We love you. But yeah, it's like you stop here. You know, they're going to go somewhere else. Maybe they'll go somewhere and come back, and then they stop here again. Like it just makes all the sense. And I, I, I love hearing the, you know, the camaraderie and the community and stuff. Well, like we that. got a couple of little wineries that are literally down, yeah. you know, down the street. Um, and we send people to them every yeah. day, and they send people to us every day, and it's part of the, you know. Not everyone wants to drink bourbon, funnily enough, which is escapes me, but Psychopaths. whatever. Um, but, you know, we it. send people down there a lot and they do the same yeah. and it, it's great. And you can literally, like last night, we were dead all day and then come 4.30, we had like six groups come in. Yeah. And they all hung around till we kicked them out. I'm like, i got to go home. <laughs> i got to go and let the dogs out or they're peeing everywhere. <laughs> so, um, but it was fantastic. Yeah. And they'd been... 
I, like well, one of the two, and then they'd gone out to Bardstown or something. Right. And then they'd come back and finish their yeah, day here because exactly. they knew we were open at 6.30. Everybody, yeah, everybody yeah. wants to come and they want to get the full experience of, and they want to get as many places as you can. And Lawrenceburg has so many places you can do that. And you guys, I don't know, I think you're doing it right. So. Yeah, it, and it's been great. And, you know, we've uh, had really good support from, you know, the city and everything. And, you know, we're, but that's been the biggest challenge is just getting in front of people. But we're learning how to do it more gradually we've got a distributor now uh that uh, will be taking our 10 by 10 and our new bourbon to market nice uh, which will be good, good. we good for you guys i wish i could tell you we're going into a uh, we've put our bourbon into one of the leading uh hotels in kentucky ch- groups in kentucky i can't tell you who it is yet because uh but we're super it when i tell you offline you'll be like what <laughs> It's the Holiday Inn Express. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Super eight, baby. Holiday Inn Express, Red Louisville. Roof, Red Roof Inn. <laughs> yeah. Hey, but they've got a great selection. The Red Roof? Yeah. I haven't been to a Red Roof in so many years. Oh, yeah. They've got a great bourbon selection. I love the nose on this. I love the palate on this. I haven't even tasted it yet. Oh, oh my smell. gosh. This one is so creamy. You can't have this one. I've already... <laughs> we've already, the, we've already labeled the power it. comes into play. Yeah, like, actually, fine. <laughs> <laughs> actually, you're going to pick the second best of the group here. No, hey, you, if that's the case, that's totally fine. I get it. Oh you guys gosh. can have the pick of the litter. This one, yeah, it's, this is crazy good. Oh yeah, it is. I hate to say it. <laughs> if ever there were such a thing as like a chocolate cream sickle, which I guess is just like. And it's, it's, almost, I, it's just ice cream with the chocolate. It, it's a hot fudge shell sundae. on it. Yeah. Yeah. Now this is the. Uh, you ever have a dipped cone? Oh yeah. From mm-hmm. Dairy Queen, they take that soft serve and then they dip it and like it kind of has that hard shell. And then you get towards the end of it and it's kind of started melting together. Yeah, it's like a swirl, like a not like a swirled vanilla and chocolate ice cream, but like a vanilla that's got like some really like strong chocolate in it. I get some like salted caramel on it too. I do too. Mm-hmm. There, there, there is definitely a salty savoriness to it. It's a banana that... split. I'm right, dude. <laughs> it is. There's a fruity note on there. Yeah, there definitely is. I think the fruity like banana is on the nose and then you, it's a banana split. Do you think it's banana? So yeah, we say banana. Banana, banana, yeah, banana, banana, banana split. Let's, let's call the whole thing off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think the I think the fruitiness on the nose is a banana note. You know what? I think you're right. And then you get but like I'm, you, I'm very open to suggestion. So that you said Sydney earlier. Does that put? Were you born in Sydney? No, uh, Perth. I was gonna. That was my second guess. I'm sorry because I was well, just there's only five cities. Well, that's true. Um, but <laughs> so I was listening to. I think it was the Weekly Planet. I think they just did. Anyway, it's a nerd podcast out of Melbourne. Um, And they were talking, I think, within the past couple of weeks about the difference in how, like, Melburnians say, like, they still kind of say banana. Banana? Mm, Yeah, they But, like, a little bit further north and, like, even, I mean, they might actually be the only part of Australia that yeah. give it that uh, american banana <laughs> yeah they they yes I the american probably, banana everybody yeah that's yeah. what this is <laughs> if you go to queensland they say banana <laughs> that sounds like the uh, that's a crocodile dundee <laughs> <laughs> banana. Banana. <laughs> now you know i'm going to be humming that all day yep yeah. yep yes i do oh yes, man I do. That may have that. I think that rose to the top. Th- this one is so unbelievably good, man. Do you get any vanilla split. in that? Yes. On the palate, yeah. I will get that's when I get that vanilla ice yep. cream starting to mix with like mm. the, the chocolate mm. and the caramel. There's and okay, like there's some Ben and Jerry's flavor that I can't pinpoint, but it has like a like a vanilla salty balls. That's the coffee we had. Yeah, that's oh, that's the coffee we. Had. No, that was creamy balls. Creamy, oh, balls. creamy balls. That's, that's right. the one I was thinking of. Never mind. It was cr- one <laughs> anyway. creamy balls it, coming soon? It specifically reminds me of Ben and Jerry's ice cream. Yeah, that's good. And it and it's like it's got the dark and it's got the sweet. Like it's mm. it's got a little bit of everything. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty, freaking good. Well, I I do I you knew. I think almost he immediately. 
He's like, oh, I'm keeping What it. the answer was going to be there. They're like, you're crazy. This one sucks. I'm going to keep this one for myself. Yeah, we've got to. Are we, you guys sure? I don't think I could send you out the door with we this gotta put one. Some, oh, crap, uh, that's the wrong one. I got to yeah. take that back. We got to put some wood chunks in this one. <laughs> Yeah, we got a French oak this Do thing. our French oak thing. Oh, my Which God. Which, actually, I kind of want to do with one of these bottles whenever, like, whatever we pick. Uh, it's awful. <laughs> it's just awful. Just tell us. Like, I, I, we have fun <laughs> with it. We have fun with it as enthusiasts just experimenting with it, but, like. It, it's fine to put in maybe a bottle to try it. Yeah. But well, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. not going full hog and, you know. No. Taking over a whole barrel. I'm just thinking, like. Oh. One of the bottles we set aside and we put, you know, our French oak or whatever. We did it just maybe as not. same as you were talking about. Yeah. We tried it and I was like, damn, I wish you hadn't done that because I just wasted a bottle of uh, <laughs> of our stuff. It was it was horrible. Really? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's not horrible. You could drink it and you'd be very happy drinking it. But it just changed it so much. And I, you, uh, yeah, you I could change tell. About that one. You could tell. Yeah. That man. It had yeah. been, and it's like in the wine. My family come out of the wine industry in, in Australia. And so it's like the wine industry where they're, you know, dropping staves into the wine barrels right. to try and give it some more oak or whatever. And I'm really opposed to doing that. Yeah. And and it makes it taste like you're sucking on a plank right. of wood, you know. Are you okay with like a double bar- barreling? Like a double Oh, oak? yeah. Yeah. yeah you yeah. just don't think like just don't throw a bunch of stuff in Right. It. Gotcha. Oh, a double. I think double barreling is great. Okay. And, and finishing in a, if that's your thing, that's uh-huh. not our thing, but if you, that's your thing. Yeah. Um, great. So you've now touched on something which I think might, show us a little bit more of your hand than you did earlier but Ooh. your family it comes from winemakers and, yes. and all, so mm-hmm. so distilling and and basically just creating alcohol is something that you're not unfamiliar with well no there's a reason I'm not involved in that anymore <laughs> because I was really bad at it and you can't even be a farmer okay? I can't be a farmer well, for the love but- of god <laughs> and it's um making wine's really hard sure and I have no scientific or aptitude or attention to detail, so I can't do any of that stuff. <laughs> um, how do you? Okay, so this is not as serious as the last question I asked. Okay, um, <laughs> but so we're picking a single barrel, and like w- we picked one last year at New Riff, and we just put like the a little logo sticker on it that had like the our, like this is my bourbon podcast thing. Mm-hmm. How how do you feel when you see? A bottle that's like mutilated, you know, mutilated, like wax dipped, or like a sticker. Or are you okay with like just like a clean sticker, like the show that group picked it, or something like that? Like, how? What yeah. do you feel about the single barrel scene where people maybe go overboard, or maybe they just keep it simple? Look, I think it's uh, you know uh, horses for courses, really. I mean, the whole overblowing thing isn't my deal. Yeah, but. People like it, so if they like it and it makes them happy, I don't give a shit. There you go. You know, um, you know what we'll do with um, this uh, pick is we'll have a uh, a small copper medallion mm-hmm. which will go on the front of the uh, bottle, and then we'll run a panel up the side which will say, you know, it's picked by you guys and okay. all that sort of thing. But so if, once we have this out in stores and distribution, if you see the little, it's a tiny like about the th- size of your thumbnail. It's a small copper medallion that'll stick on the front, and that way you know it's a store pick yeah. or a private barrel pick. Right. And then we'll put the the um, identifier on the nice. side. Very cool. Like it's just a little bit understated, <clears throat> uh, but yeah, I have absolutely zero problem with people putting it in a, in a velvet bag and right. you know putting flashing lights on it. If you want to do that, sprinkles, sprinkles. <laughs> Actually, what we should do is put in a bag so it explodes with shit. <laughs> glitter bomb, glitter bomb. Yeah. <laughs> Don't take that if you're listening. That's, yeah, that's ours. That's TM'd. We <laughs> trademarked that business. Could you imagine? You don't tell the people who are buying the bottles from your <laughs> single barrel, so and they get it, and they're like, "Why does this? Why is there so much air in this bag?" And they open it up with all that pressure getting yeah. released. And uh, well, I have to tell you a very funny story about that. We 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 bring out our own coffee as you you t- tried today, um, and it's yeah. being made by uh, good people coffee in Paris. Hmm. Anyhow, so we experimented and we were putting it in bottles, like our same bottles that we uh, put our, our whiskey in, and we put it in and we didn't degas it enough. <laughs> so there I am. I'm like going, oh, we'll see how it's been. <laughs> so I, I get the – I'm taking the top off, like just <laughs> pulling the cork out. It explodes <laughs> and there is just coffee beans from asshole to breakfast time. <laughs> from asshole to breakfast time maybe my favorite thing ever. 
Yeah, that's a saying. Put that put that on a shirt. That's your that's your new thing. That could be a new logo, a new slogan. Yeah. I want to see that bourbon company from our sort of breakfast time. <laughs> I love that. But you have to say ass. You can't ass. say ass. Ass. Yeah, ass. Ass. That sounds yeah. like you're saying ice. Ass. Ice. No, I can't. Ice. Steve. If, oh, okay, ass. now I hear the difference. Ass. Ass. No, now you sound like a leprechaun. Oh, the pirate. Arr. Oh, Lepre- that's what it is. <laughs> that's what we could do. We could put pirate hats on the top of all of our bottles. Yeah, ah, let's ah, do that. Ah, and a parrot. That's <laughs> let's let's make a sticker that's like a ass, but it's like in the it, like it looks like an ice cube. How about <laughs> a melty? Ass. How about we do uh, we do two bottles, two barrels. Mm. One's a bourbon, one's a rye. The bourbon has a pirate hat, and the rye has a parrot. Well, I think that'd the, be good. Well, the bourbon is a breakfast sticker, and the other one is an ass. <laughs> it's just a cat butthole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think that'd be a big seller. Oh um, man! So, okay. So if, anyway, if we made a sticker and just gave it to like our, the people who bought it, and if they wanted to slap it on there, like on the back, you would be fine with that. Oh, we'll do all that for you. Okay. Well, we just wanted to make sure, like, if we you we, just we just need your info, we'll stick it on there, and the the punters that are at the uh, at the event uh, will be able to. They'll be the only ones will be able to get them, uh, and uh, that'll be it. Okay. You don't have to do another thing apart from pick it. It's the craziest. So it's such an ideal situation for us too, and I, I, I wanted not only to that like. Nose is really good it's so head. good, right? Yeah. I only, I not only wanted to like share this experience of of picking the barrel with our listeners, but also just, you know, there there are plenty of people who have never picked a barrel before. Mm. And this is a good insight into, you know, on a very on a very personal level, what it is like and, and just the excitement and kind of the camaraderie that comes from it too. When you're just oh, it's amazing that part. sitting around, hanging out and having talking and, about breakfast and asshole and right, <laughs> which is, which is what we do all the time in here. But yeah. the, 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 uh, <laughs> and just, you know, that's just a Tuesday. <laughs> I wanted to give you guys a whole experience of pulling it out of the barrel and that sort of nonsense, but you don't have to do that. There was something, yeah. Outstanding happening, yeah, at the, at the distillery, distillery today, yeah. So, so uh, health inspection. Oh, um, this, this oh, I like this one. I like this one for different reasons from the previous. So, this is our our fifth barrel, fifth sample, thirteen B, thirteen B, yeah. And it it still maintains some of that creaminess that we were getting with the the previous barrel. But there's a there's a sharpness to it as well that mm. like the the rye spice I think is coming through a little bit more. I think this is this is the funkiest of the bunch to me. This throws me off a little bit, and I like that. It's it's definitely funky. It's it's, it's the marky mark of the group. I was yeah. trying to see. <laughs> do I yeah. beat you to it? You did. Mm. Thanks, marky Perfect. mark. I was trying to find a, a a good joke for it, and you know sometimes simple is just better. I'm a simple guy. <laughs> Didn't mean to imply that. That was another one of those instances where I was like, I heard it. I only heard it when it was coming out of my mouth. <laughs> Golly. Um, he's never going to have us back. Probably not. Or he's going to have he's going to have you back. Yeah. Me. <laughs> he's just going to be like, I just want to eat some snacks. We just come down and hang out. With me? <clears throat> Do you want to come to my yeah. daughter's third birthday party <laughs> in October? <laughs> my dogs are ha- my dogs are having some uh, a birthday party. Bring your dog. We'll just eat snacks all day. That'd be great. Out of dog food bowls. I got little corgis. They're oh, uh, I got a Doberman and a uh, uh, English Sheepdog Australian Shepherd cross, oh. which is crazy. It's crazy. It's, his name's Raylan. Gibbons. I'm sure he's in. <laughs> Raylan? Raylan Givens. Mm. Like on uh, Justify. Yeah. Yep. And the Doberman's name's Betsy Ross. <laughs> <laughs> She's been married seven times. <laughs> <laughs> See, I bet most people didn't know Betsy Ross has been married like a hundred times. And this man bet all his pieces on his dogs liking this. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's sadly true. <laughs> Okay, what do you guys think of this guy? Man, this may be the most... It is the funkiest, but I think that it's the most balanced with complexity. I was going to say it's the most complex. Yeah. Me. Like, that's why I've not really said anything. Because I'm still... I'm seeing different things. I'm thinking of different things. Like, it is... It's, 
it's not punching me like the last one did. Mm. It's making me think more. I think the one before is more of like the crowd pleaser. Yeah. Because it is so like inviting. There's so much that you can just <clears throat> spend time with and enjoy in, you know, certain aspects of it. This might be the like Bourbon drinkers, bourbon out of the bunch. This is the bourbon nerds. The nerds. Say. That's yeah. what I was going to say. Eric always yeah. says bourbon nerds. I think that's probably right. Um, and so, like, I'm. I'm it's kind a of... it's a bread pudding on the nose. Oh, it's yeah. a bread pudding oh, on yeah. the nose. Bourbon bread pudding. And then it adds something else on the palate. Like, I don't know. It's like a raisin. Like, adds a little raisin, like raisin bread, to it. I have an idea. I'm just kidding. I have an idea. <laughs> Let's put raisins in this. Ooh. <laughs> Raisin finished bourbon. Oh, um, okay, that yuck. wouldn't be good. Would I would not rather good. not. I'd rather no. be nibbled to death by ducks. Yeah. What? Nibbled to death by ducks. That yeah. would be another good t shirt. Yeah. I don't know if I've ever heard that before. I don't know. I've Think never about heard that before it. either. I mean, I'm thinking about it. Would they nibble you or they Have you thought you? about this a lot? No, nibble. You know. You but, about this but don't they go my dad, like this? My, no, oh, like, that's a chicken. Does it? Yeah. <laughs> when did you talk? My, yeah. No, my dad. Is this? It's, a, my, it's a saying my dad says. This is a childhood thing. Yeah. Mm. You got attacked by ducks at the pond, didn't you? I'm looking for a new therapist. <laughs> <laughs> Just come see us too. We'll, yeah. We'll right. sort you out. <laughs> so yeah, this is if the last one was like a banana split. This is like a raisin, like a. Almost like a raisin cinnamon roll bread pudding thing. Rum raisin waffle yeah. cone. This this borders finished. It yeah, borders it a finished does. bourbon. Hmm. So the question now, I think we're all in agreement that we're between the last two. Betwixt and between or just between? I truly don't know the difference, so I'm gonna say yes. It means you're somewhat confused. Oh. Uh, I'm just going to say for one, like all five of these are definitely selling out. Whether, oh, there's no way that they're sitting. <laughs> no. They all bring something different, which is amazing. I, I do think the last two I'm torn between. I put, I put 12A above 11A. Yeah, so I, I like agree. two more than one. I put three out only because it's it it's a it's a freaking ride to me. Yeah, um, that's not what we're going for. I right. think is like an important aspect of this. And a thirteen A and B are I can't figure out which one I want more of. Well, see, that's the thing is that as as much as we can hem and haw about like what we prefer, right. I do think that it's important to take into account who are we picking for. Yeah. You know? Greg. We're picking for Greg. We're picking for Greg. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. But He's, this, this is, is Greg's barrel. <laughs> that's a, um, that's I think that's exactly the right because uh thing to say because I sit there when I'm looking at the back doing our barrels and stuff, and I'm like, Oh, I love that. Yeah. And then I'm like, Well, hang on. I like bourbon that's really rye forward and uh that sort of thing. But does everyone else? Yeah. Probably not. So I've got to try and temper what I want versus what I think will have appeal or what other people will like. And end of the day, I just pick what I want, but anyhow. <laughs> well, see, that's that's why I'm like leaning towards 13A because I do think that it is yeah, that the, one's gone. the the crowd pleaser. Mm. <clears throat> but yeah, there's because, but I there's, mean there's people there's people that are going to be at the show there's people that are on patreon that we know for a fact that they don't get as nerdy as other people yeah they just enjoy something good um and i would fall into that camp right so yeah i i don't i think any of these i will, think she should tell us why she likes yeah them. emily do oh. you like the 13a or 13b better Oh, straight off the bat, she didn't hey, think about damn. it. Damn! <laughs> I remember. I mean, that... <sighs> that's why she's the bourbon steward of the year. That's what we were kind of leaning towards anyway. Yeah. I I mean, I don't have any problem with it. I just need to know when B is going to... Like, 
<laughs> I need to know Thir- when you put 13 B in a, a for us, 13 B for you all. And also let us know when 13 B comes out so we can be here. And happy, birthday, happy birthday. birthday. Yeah. Thanks for everything. Did she say happy birthday back? Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. In August. I had headphones on. So yeah, I no, can, she yeah. did. But I feel much better now. It's like my birthday. Yeah. Well, yeah. there you go. We're all celebrating our birthday. Right? Yeah. Anytime you pick a barrel, it feels like your birthday. It does. Uh, so, I, so what do you think? I mean, God, do you I need to it. revisit anything? Let's revisit A and B. I'm gonna thirteen, hey, thirteen A and B, thirteen Just A side and B. by side. We got enough. I got enough. I'm gonna oh yeah, do side. a side by side. Yeah, I think that's a good call. Mm. Uh, but at at the bare minimum, I, like if I had to just kind of go off of gut gut instinct, um, A. Right. Hmm? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I thought you said hey. I was like what? Hey. I thought you said us. <laughs> I thought you said ice. <laughs> I, I don't know the difference right now, honestly. Hey, right. by the way, what did you think of our new coffee? It's really good, man. Thank you. I really no, like I it. I mean, coffee, bourbon, every, like it's legit. You haven't even tried it with the bourbon cream in it. Oh, that bourbon cream's great. Fantastic. Right, this is this is B. Oh, you're trying it? Awesome. This is great. And then he's pouring A. So this is B. This is B. You know I have to write this down so mm-hmm. I remember which one is which. By the way, I've been that's writing down all your tasting notes <laughs> because that's what's going to end up on our website. You told us that prior to <laughs> Don't laugh. beginning the recording. That's what it's going to be. No, I know exactly what you're doing here. You're sourcing. Like uh, yeah, but you know what, man? I, this, is it, like, this is A. This is A? Mm-hmm. This goes back to what I was kind of saying you, earlier sir. that, you know, we, we are so happy to – be a part of the growth of this company. And Thank I mean, you. whatever you need from us, let us know. Have I you mean, got to spare you, half a million? Uh, I mean, I can make an Instagram post. <laughs> <laughs> well, that might be good. <laughs> What's that I can worth? pour your whiskey over snack cakes, Greg. <laughs> hey, look, will, it, it, it's not all about the money. I will take a spoonful of Vegemite for you, okay? I think I've got you converted to Vegemite. I think you got the both of us just. I think this is going to save me a lot of money when my wife wants to make a charcuterie board, and I just. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Get me some crackers and Vegemite. You're good to go. (laughs) Yep. Yep. Can we even get this? Did you have to order this? Yeah, it's hand carried. Hand carried. Yep. I bought like two pallets of it back. With pallets, two um, flats of it back. Like this guy really wants some Vegemite. Oh wow! (laughs) I only go. I only go home once a year, so I've got to really stock up. When do you normally go home in the winter? Uh, no, Our summer winter. here. No, I go home in summer oh. because it's Australian football season oh, okay. in Australia's winter, and I go. I love the Australian fo- Australian football. Go f- go Fremantle Dockers. Woo. I was about to ask who your footy team was. So. Fr- My they favorite the Dockers. Team. <laughs> Actually, we should. Uh, they could become the official Australian football team of the podcast. Oh, yeah, I think they should. I They're would. The yeah. official I, Australian. I team of the love the idea of really obscure Ooh. sponsors. <laughs> Okay, so I go back. I go back, and I love both of these. Oh, oh, okay. Hold on. When you go back to when you go back to uh, B thirteen B. Oh, I don't know, dude. A A is phenomenal. I can you give me a cracker? That's actually a good idea. It's actually good trying them beside each other. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. They're definitely in the same family, but yeah, one one I get, one I can pick out so many notes on instantly, and one that I just have to think about a little bit. Oh, that cracker's nice. <laughs> cracker's really nice. <laughs> cracker's actually stellar. Hmm. 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 A makes me giddy. <laughs> I I think. I think A is the instant like. B is the thinker like. That's exactly right. It's the it, <laughs> yeah, A you pour A and you instantly know this is good. This is something special. You pour B and it's like, okay. It takes you a second. Yeah. I want people to instantly like what we pick though. Well. I mean the honestly. 13A and it's in it as as much as I love 13B and I do enjoy spending time with it. I just think 13A is 
I mean, it's the instant, like, it's an instant like, like I, like you said, like we could think of different stuff instantly. Well, everyone loves hot fudge sundaes. That's true. With a little banana on the side. Mm. A little banana. Dude. I think you've got to win a win a chicken dinner. I think we've got to go with a, I think we have to. 13A it is. Well, I think part of that is that when, uh, folks come to the event and on Patreon and stuff, you know for a fact they'll buy it and no matter oh, what yeah. their palate is, yeah. they'll like it. Yeah. Well, and, you know, we, we, exactly right, we almost touched on it and we kind of missed it just a little bit, but we understand that there are going to be people who aren't able to make it to this event, mm. but we are very fortunate, though, that <laughs> this bottle, actually, this barrel is still going to be available through Lawrence, I almost said Bartstown, Lawrenceburg Bourbon <laughs> Company. <laughs> Um, I wish it will. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, it will be here. Mm-hmm. Whatever gets left over. So uh, for the folks who may have wanted to make it to the event and weren't able to, um, you're still able to get it here. I know that there are people who are going to probably need something shipped one way or another. There's a couple of states we can ship but, to. Yeah, uh, I don't know offhand what they are, but there are a few. I- we we've got some olive oil orders that need to go out, right? I got a lot of barbecue sauce. Yeah. Oh, that's, you do. That's right. Yeah. yeah you can never so, have too much. Yeah, it's true. Mm. That's why we have to mail it to so many people. Yeah. Um. Yeah. But I think that's uh, it, you know, we just wanted to let you all know too that as <laughs> maybe I'm shooting myself in the foot. As much as we wanted this to be just a, like an event exclusive pick. You're still going to have the opportunity to get this, even yeah. if you don't come to the weekend. But it's going to go it's from the level official, to level. Yeah, yeah. And it's still the official pick of the weekend. Mm-hmm. It's just this is. Gregor, uh, we're going to see you around the the weekend. Heck yeah! I've already booked. <laughs> I've already already booked my room. There we go, dude. That's the other part of it too. The Greg is actually going to be around. I mean, you're going to be there pretty much. I'll be there the whole time. You'll the be able to get rid of me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'll be like a our, tick. Our. Uh, <laughs> Our tasting My and has Lyme disease. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. It's amazing. Oh my god! Greg fits right in. Oh, it was I a very it. long journey. Oh, I bet <laughs> he it's... missed most of high school and all of middle school. <laughs> really? Oh yeah, yeah. He was he was homebound for five and a half to six years. Oh, ticks freaked me to f out. No, I can't. I. It, Having Fuck. watched somebody go, thank you. Having watched somebody go through that, I mean, just oh, the oh my god, the anxiety that I have thinking about ticks is on so on the farm massive. in summer. There's just ticks everywhere, and it, the dogs bring them in, and but of course they're vaccinated. We're not, and uh, yeah, the oh ticks just freak me out. If if we could get the if we could get the medical community to accept across the board. That Lyme disease actually exists as really? mm-hmm. an illness, then maybe we could get a vaccine for it. Uh, but there are doctors who truly do not believe that it's a thing. But it's interesting. Every vet in America thinks it's a thing, well, knows it's a thing, <laughs> right? But vets are just smarter doctors. <laughs> exactly, because they've got to learn a lot smarter more stuff. Doctors. Uh, oh, gotcha. I'll wait on that. One. That was uh, that was almost a catastrophe. Yeah. <laughs> A catastrophe. <laughs> I love it. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, my God. You guys are going to uh, love this. Yeah. This is incredible. Um, I did just do a tiny little blend between the two of them. Ooh. One okay. to one, just out of curiosity, but that's how we kind of roll here. Um, go for it. Just go for it. When Don't you guys did face. the uh, the blend between two of the um, rye, ca- rye mm. casks when you're on your show, I was like, oh, no. <laughs> so I went. I came into the into the uh, cellar door the next day, and I did it. And I was like, "Oh, fuck, that's good. <laughs> they were right. They were really good." <laughs> okay, that's a completely different animal. Oh wow! Um, wow. Ha huh. ha! We're not doing it. Not doing it. Uh, oh, no. that's really good. <laughs> Uh uh-uh. uh. Don't look at me. Don't say no. He can't. You're dead to me. You- uh. Oh. Mmm. <laughs> Anyhow. Uh. Moving on. No, he's got to This has got to be. Oh, that no, was. No, you're right. You're that right. was good. You're right. But that. 
The boy. Okay, this is a, this is a good thing to do. It is a good you thing get to do. A, and then when they release B, well, you know B is going to be bottled on Monday <laughs> after this. Well, good point. Scratch so, that. So B could still be available at the gift shop when people are here. Right. For the meetup. You know what? I think we'll keep B until the event so they're both sort of, so they can, yeah, people can try them out. Because it doesn't matter to us which way we bottle them. That's amazing <laughs> right there. Oh, my gosh. All right. Well. <laughs> yeah. But, but but A will be the pick. That'll be the one with the. A is the. That'll have the medallion. That'll have the. But if business. you want to complete the collection, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Dude. That's great. You know what? Okay. I'm going to call these 13 A and B. <laughs> That's just what they call now. A and B. Yep. 13A, 13B. Yep. 13 no, is actually uh, my family's lucky oh, number, too. I so. got, oh, and he he brought out the bourbon. I got balls. 13 t- tattooed on me. I need to get new tats, but oh, I'm scared of needles. Yeah, they got bourbon balls, too. Yeah. These are our, um, these are made literally about half a, well, a mile up the road. No, half a mile up the road. Mm. Uh, bourbon balls uh, with our bourbon. Oh, wow. This has got Lawrenceburg. Oh, my gosh. Lawrenceburg Bourbon Company, uh, one cask in it. So 123 proof, I think this was. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh, it's so good. Mm, they are good. That's incredible. What are we doing? <laughs> so when you come for a toasting, you get a bourbon ball. Oh, my God. Well, that was, good. Yeah, I hardly ever eat these. Balls are Phenomenal. They're a, they're a little salty. Mm-hmm. That's okay. And so are the chocolates. That's okay. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, wow. That's so good. Mm. Legit. Those are really good. All right. Well, it's been a successful day. <laughs> i got a mouthful sure. of bowl. Better, too. Um, do we have any high-proof hot takes this week? Um, I don't. Don't. Don't fuck with Greg. It's <laughs> mm. <laughs> my hot take. Mm. Where my advice? Mm. Grunts of approval from mm. Greg. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's why I don't go out much. <laughs> I don't like crowds. You're gonna struggle with the meetup then, man. <laughs> yeah, everybody's gonna be taking pictures with you, and mm-hmm. they're gonna be. I tell you, when we release the bourbon, oh, I think I told you this offline, but I'm I must have signed 500 bottles. Right? That's so cool. And one guy. Talk says, Oh, I just got a bottle signed by Brent up at Four Rows. He was a local guy. Yeah. Got a bottle signed by Brent. And I was like, Can you do me a favor? <laughs> I said, When you go home, please take a photo of the one you had with Brent, the one you had, and put them next to each other. Yeah. So the guy takes a photo, texts it to me. I texted immediately to Brent and said, Your job's not that effing hard. He didn't respond. Greg, <laughs> Greg just did the. You haven't talked to him in six <laughs> weeks. The most, the most low key. Flex ever. baller move. Not the fact that he's signing bottles and all this. The fact that he said I text Brent. And yeah. Like, oh I, yeah. That's that's he 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 didn't respond though. <laughs> <laughs> you've got some other messages he's re- responded to though. Right? Oh yeah, he's okay, the nicest see, man ever. He's the nicest man on the planet. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Tips and bits. Flexing. That's a flex. Yeah. What, do you have anything you want to recommend to people? Yeah. This, this can week? be anything. Like Ooh. you know. TV, movies, music, anything? Ooh. Uh, no. No. Okay. Oh, uh, I don't think so. <laughs> Bordsburg bourbon. <laughs> yeah, but no, seriously, if you're coming down, uh, if when you're like on our website, which is lawrencebergbourbon.com, if you make a, a booking and uh, for whatever reason you want me to be there, just put it in the notes of the booking oh, cool. and uh, I'll make sure I'm here. Yeah. Can't do so, that at Four Roses, Brent. Yeah, thanks, Brent. Um, <laughs> so <much shade. laughs> uh, so he's really not going to respond to any text now. <laughs> you, um, you find out if he really listens to the podcast, yeah, right? right? Oh, yeah, yeah. but I no, get a seriously, DM from like <laughs> the four roses social media team, they're like, Could you calm down a little bit? <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, I probably do. They're like, All those big companies are like oh, everywhere, yeah. yeah. They got the little people in the switchboard, they're like, Yeah, uh huh. Well, oh, as, soon as, we, as soon as we said something bad about a larger distillery, I got an email saying, Hey, we heard you weren't happy with something. That's true. Did you really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, um, uh, 
We well, talk, we'll, think we'll talk about that off. Well, here. if you talk any shit about me, you'll be getting an email. It won't be an email. Yeah, yeah, I don't know how you handle business online. So, <laughs> <good>. yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, <laughs> I've got the screenshots to prove it. <laughs> but yeah, so come on down and visit with us. We always have a good time, and uh, I think our whiskey's pretty good. And um, it's really good. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, we're four years away from having our own stuff, but we're only about six months away from being in our new facility. Uh, Okay, so we were. I was like, "Oh yeah, we'll be opening July the fourth, uh, fourth of July." <laughs> there is absolutely no chance we're opening fourth of July. The guide couldn't even turn up with the freaking key. <laughs> the key man. The key man. The key master's out. Yeah, the key master's going to get it this afternoon. But oh, uh, yeah, but we're super excited for the new place. Um, it'll be big. You know what? Opening day, you guys have to a podcast from there. Yes, can do. Put it on the. As long as we're in town, the answer is yes. Mm. Well, we can change the opening to for you guys. <laughs> oh, okay, all right, sure. Yeah. Why not? We'll pick another barrel, and people yeah. can just. Yeah. What that up? would yeah. be nice to, like, no joke, like pick a barrel on opening day. Like, oh yeah, on oh, site, for sure, on site, and oh, we yeah. would actually have the barrels there. And we and oh, you could yes. and if you had enough. Or, you know, people could come by and be like, oh, I like this one, I like this one, as we're, like, Ooh. digging in stuff. This is a million It'll be a short idea. barrel if you put enough for everybody, but, like, that would be awesome, like, you know. Like, well, even if you did a dozen little things, oh, yeah, a, yeah, bit sure. a bit of people, a sample yeah, size. If they run out, they run out, but a couple of people could come up and be like, yeah. ooh, I like this one. We could, and just narrow it down, like, these no, are the top. We do it for your Patreon members that are in <laughs> town. They can yes. come and do it. Yes. Patreon.com. <laughs> Patreon.com. <laughs> podcast for as little as a dollar a month. They're the ones that can come and do it. There we go. You heard it here. I like that idea. That's fun. Hey, this is what we're about, man. I mean, breaking the I'm mold, doing something it. different. <sighs> I love it. I love it. Eric, what do you have to recommend this week? Uh, let's see. What do I recommend? Um, <clears throat> I'm not going to do any spoilers on uh, The Mandalorian. Um, Episode four was pretty great. Is that Epi- a TV show? It yeah. is. Mm. It's uh, it's a Star Wars show. Um, mm. Episode three, I've got <laughs> I'm thoughts. I'm not judging. Grunts of disapproval mm. from Greg. <laughs> I've got thoughts on episode three. Episode four was amazing. I love that. Um, on the anime side of things, um, Boruto, uh, it's coming to, the first part's coming to an end. It's been really good lately. And then I would recommend uh, coming down to Lawrenceburg Bourbon <laughs> and hanging out well, with I Greg. Like, I like that. What if I just was like, yeah, I'm not going to recommend that. <laughs> You're like, no, I don't recommend that. <laughs> Greg punches you, you in know the face. You know I could like, just <laughs> go like this. You know, I know how to And you'd bleed out and like, yeah, I don't know. A, that's the thing. He knows where exactly where my carotid artery Actually, is. Actually, you burnt bleed out in about 35 seconds. There you go. Club well, pumps. I've never, I haven't felt this threatened since uh, the fall of 2018. Um, what, what, oh, what happened? There? Oh. Tell you offline. We'll, anyway, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> I'm very excited now. Yeah. You you want to hear this, Greg? Uh, yeah. Um, so uh, come, c- please come down here, please, for the love of God, save my <laughs> life. And, <laughs> I don't want to die yet. <laughs> yeah. My daughter's only two. I want to see her grow up. Well, it's probably um, better that it happens early, <laughs> <laughs> because that way, <laughs> that way she can like get to love a new father. <laughs> Just an idea. Woo! I'm just throwing it out. Love it. And she won't remember me. This Correct. is my style podcast. I am so sad right now. <laughs> my heart just broke into a million Y'all pieces. I made uh, period a lot. We got Greg on here. Yeah. Well, I'm just I just come in and break shit and then leave. Yeah. That's, like I just yeah. broke chaos. Yeah. It's the house party that you had when your parents were away. And- <laughs> <laughs> but I will bring chocolate. There you go. And balls. Chocolate balls. Chocolate balls. Chocolate salty balls. What do you got to recommend, Barry? Yeah. I don't really have anything. This okay. Week. I've been really busy. Um, I got. I did get through with a, a book uh, this week called Bear Town. Um, mm. It's about a small Norwegian hockey city or hockey town. Mm. Um, kind of a crime thriller-y story. Um, they made it into an HBO series, which is not available on HBO Max anymore, which I kind of hate. But at the same well, it's time, it's probably for the best. I, yeah, I don't. There's parts of it that I would rather not see depicted. Oh, it's like that. Yeah, I, mostly mm. because it makes me sad more than anything. I'll tell you about it off air. I don't want to spoil mm. anything. Mm. Um, really great book though. Uh, an extremely 
poignant depiction of human emotion and and just grieving through a lot of different aspects of uh Gosh. of life teenagers <laughs> parents seniors in a, in a community Re- i mean i'm not kidding when i say it's it was a fantastic book but um <clears throat> there were points where i was like how much longer do i have <laughs> <laughs> really say <laughs> like just let me just let me get through this but anyway uh bear town great book also come here yeah come here come here you leave and see the christmas lights yeah right here. it's christmas all year at lawrenceburg bourbon company all right you know where where else christmas is all year patreon patreon.com what? slash uh, oh shoot i forgot i had my that. bourbon podcast for as little as a dollar a month you can uh, support the show, and at five dollars, you get all the bonus stuff. You get this episode uncut, the stuff we can't say to the masses. Ooh. You get uh, the Patreon pregame chats. You get pours from the floor. Sometimes we do simply irresistible. Um, and then if you uh, if you buy a VIP ticket to the weekend, um, you'll get to be part of the pregame chats and the Patreon stuff because we're going to record all that stuff Friday night, and apparently Greg's going to be there, I think. So tell me, for my edification, yes. when is the weekend? Oh, so it is Memorial Day weekend. Oh, perfect. Well, perfect. I'm going to wear my medals. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else? Nothing else. Yes. Oh, no, I'll have a vest on. A vest and medals. Yeah. What about the bottom half? Nothing. Okay. There oh, you go. I might wear a like a loincloth kind of deal. Loincloth? Cool. Because it gets a bit drafty. Oh, and yeah, you just got to let make sure everything airs <laughs> out, yeah. you know? Yeah. Uh, I did tell you, Eric, that we not only had a new patron. Okay. But we had one who upped their pledge. Yeah, yeah. As well. Me and Greg saw him. You both saw it. Yeah, me and Greg saw him. I want to prepare you for this. You're about to watch okay. this art in action. Okay. Um, but uh, <laughs> what? Our new patron. Do you want me to start with a new one or do you want me to start with the one that See, I, w- I know who upped, but let's just go ahead and get the up. Okay. Right away. Well, the, the upped one uh, <laughs> was our, our friend Justin Lewis. Justin Lewis. Yeah. yeah, me and Greg were hanging out with Justin. Justin's yeah. the business. He is. Um, Love him. Uh, it was just recently. I, me and Greg kind of tried to, you know, prepare for the show a couple yeah. days mm-hmm. ago, and he came down here, and he had been at Four Roses. He had been mm-hmm. at Wild Turkey mm-hmm. and all that. And I said, "Listen, dude, like, go down to Lawrenceburg, um, go to Lawrenceburg Bourbon, find Greg. He's got the meat. Mm-hmm. That's all I said." Mm-hmm. Um, I said, I'm not going to be able to go. I text Greg and I said, just walk in, say, Hey, Eric, whiskey mutant said you got the meat and went well, it went well. (laughs) That's all we can say. That's a thing that unfortunately even Patreon does, doesn't know. If you come in and you ask for Greg and you go, uh, where's the meat? Like it's a whole thing. Mm. So Justin, I appreciate you. Um, you support this place. You support us. Yeah. And I'm glad you enjoyed uh, the meat. Yeah, he's like the brother I never had. Yeah. So sorry, Chris. That's my actual brother. But oh. <laughs> what if his brother wound up being Chris? Oh. <laughs> Chris oh. and Lil Chris, oh. our, our our Aussie friends yeah. who are in Brisbane. That would be so. Oh funny. no! If they're from Brisbane, it's definitely not. No, I know, but well, they live in no, Brisbane. I, mean, I don't know where I they're can't from. Be related to anyone from Brisbane? Fair yeah. enough. Uh, <laughs> it's like being related to someone from Connecticut. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, I never thought about it that way. Yeah, so. sorry, John Mayer. Um, <laughs> is he from Connecticut? He's from Connecticut. He's from Bridgeport, Connecticut. Hmm. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, mm. I know too much about that man. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and also our new patron, uh, which uh, I guess the both of you all hung out yeah, with as we well, did. Uh, Jonathan Johnson. Jonathan Johnson. Uh, JJ. Johnson. JJ. Oh JJ. JJ. <laughs> oh JJ. JJ came down yeah. and he said, "You know what? I ain't, I ain't got time to stop at any." Um, Restaurant, I've got to hit every place I can. Me and Greg said, grab some beef jerky from the mm-hmm. gas station. We we yep. recommended Mingi. Oh, very good, yeah. Yes, Mingi yes. is the best beef it jerky. It is the Mingi. best beef jerky. You He's, get it at Marathon now. Yeah, he oh, uh, he took God. a bite at the Marathon, and and like you saw as, you know, you talked about my eyes popping. Yeah. Mm. Dude, he popped, and something at the bottom popped when he yeah. had some Mingi. His um, shoes. No. He was puckering. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He got some pocky going on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah. the first thing he had to do was come to uh, Lawrenceburg Bourbon, and he came in here. Greg said, you know what? You, you, I know you don't know the password yet, but I've got the meat. Mm. And you let him have the meat. Yeah. He was uh, he was a good guy. 
uh, not quite brother material. He wasn't. He was more like distant cousin that yeah, comes to the that's wedding. Okay. But that's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Um, yeah, JJ was like a distant cousin to Greg. Um, I call him double. Double dick. Double, double. No, not double dick. Double J. Double J. That's yeah, right. Okay. That's, that's what I call. I had called JJ. When you do the meat thing, I have to sit outside. Like mm. I just kind of watch as things are happening. Did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> I did. That's <laughs> it's double coming through the. <laughs> that's, that's the secret knot. Yeah. No. That's, no it's just um, running full force yeah. with uh, your shoulder double, into the wall. <laughs> yeah. But double J got to experience the meat as well. <laughs> yeah, he did. And he paired it with Mingy, so he had double meat, double J. Oh, yeah, it was yeah. like double-barreled, but double meat. Yeah, he's mm. a double-barreled, double-J, double meat. Yep. And yep, yep. I appreciate him uh, being part of the Patreon. I'm glad he did that. Um, and it was fun being the lookout while you all did the double-J, double Well, double I, I like double-J. I think he's got some some potential. Yeah. Where am I? <laughs> I he's not this quite was, brother. This was a... The evolution of this podcast from <laughs> where it started to this where is, it is now. We're just saying real life stuff. I know, it's just, it's just crazy, man. The stories that have happened yeah. over the past five and a half years. If you want the to bourbon send... capital of America. <laughs> yeah, right here. Exactly, right here. This the is legitimate bourbon, bourbon carol. This is my the legitimate. bourbon podcast. Yep. Um, if you want to send us a story. <laughs> Do you need another cracker? <laughs> <laughs> send us an email. <laughs> Dude, this is my bourbon shop at gmail.com. <laughs> if you want to go get some merch, go to bourbonshop.threadless.com. Uh, we've apparently made a lot of new merch for Lawrenceburg Bourbon. Um, so be <laughs> we looking have. out for that. We have. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, apparently, we have a new barrel rings too, right? Yeah, we'll wait until next week, though. Next week. We, we, we do it earlier in the episode. Yeah, I forgot. Right. I want to make sure it's in the right but spot. But if so. you want to call in and leave us a voicemail and be part of the show and we'll reply to you, you can call 859 428 Eight two five three. Um, then you can go to social media, Facebook, uh, MySpace. We have MySpace. No, but we can definitely have one. We need one. Does MySpace still one. exist? Oh know. yeah. No. Yeah, I think everybody's first connection in, is still Tom. Too. Put us in your top eight. <laughs> okay. Uh, if you guys go on MySpace, I'll get Emily to put us. <laughs> There we go. We yeah. have two connections. It's Tom and Lawrence Burger <laughs> Company. <laughs> That'd be, no, we could bring MySpace back. We should. I think it's a better platform than Facebook is. For the, oh, I, I hate that. Well, I can't say that, but whatever. <laughs> um, if we bring MySpace back, it'll be like our little thing. Yeah. Oh. It's like another Patreon. Yeah, Greg, right. Greg's Meat. Uh, oh, cool, Greg's meat. Yeah, you know, for everybody. Meat space. Yeah, meat space. Wait. Space. Hang on. <laughs> dot Greg. That's probably dot, already dot taken. Greg. Oh, that's definitely. <laughs> I think that's definitely, that's definitely taken. Yeah. This show has definitely fallen um, off the rails. Yeah, but mm. all social media at my bourbon pod. You can follow me at Whiskey Mutant. You can follow Greg and everybody at Lawrenceburg Bourbon. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah, there we go. Um, and then uh, you know. Watch us on YouTube. You can subscribe to the YouTube, block everything on YouTube. Perry goes live every Thursday night. I'm going to try to be joining him every once in a while here when I can do the work. Maybe. Uh, maybe. <laughs> uh, but I'm here now, and you can watch us on YouTube. And like I said, come to Lawrenceburg and come hang out with Greg. Come to Lawrenceburg Bourbon. Like, they got tasting bars. They got other stuff. It's, it's, it's the most down-home welcoming place that you can go right now and i truly believe that thank you that's awesome yep i don't have anything else to say thank you all so much for listening thank you greg too for allowing us to come in here i got one more thing oh oh i got a gift for greg from us oh Oh, i forgot about it yeah yeah i love gifts um and okay so is as somebody who owns a, a company you're you're allowed to have bottles from other companies heck right? yeah okay okay i wanted greg to have a um, bottle <laughs> of our last pick that we did for the weekend oh so i bought some extra bottles to keep and all that so i brought you a bottle of our new riff pick that we did for the last year and i wanted you to have it man that's awesome and i really like the new riff too yeah. we, we do too when that's they yours. do their barrel picks are uh, really really good it yeah. it just now nah, we'll talk about it off here but they, yeah. they, it was easier to come here and do a barrel pick than it was. <laughs> it it oh, truly sure. is. Like, it, it's a lot easier. I'm gonna say anything. But yeah. they, their uh, barrel picks are great. Yeah, you're I, really, I really, really like gonna it. enjoy. So that's the one we had for last year, and, and they I'll, do a much better job than we're gonna do for you. 
No way. We made that sticker ourselves and put it on there. Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah. I did that. Oh, then we're going to do a much better job than yeah, they Yeah, see? There we go. <laughs> we're going to blow this new roof. 2023, out of the water. baby! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. That's awesome. Yeah. Of course, man. Thank you so much, too, for bringing us into your space, allowing us to pick a barrel. Uh, if you are in or around central Kentucky, please come and visit Lawrenceburg Bourbon Company. What are we doing next week? Do we know? Uh, I don't know. I'm too tore up about 13A right now. All right. Sounds good. We'll see you guys real soon. Until then, I'm Perry. I'm Eric. Oh, I'm Greg. And hey. this is my bourbon podcast. Yeah. Breakfast the Buttles. <laughs> no. Oh, sorry. Asshole to breakfast. Time. Oh, that long. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> breakfast to buttholes. Damn it. <laughs> well, that's that's the more natural progression. Yeah. Anyway, see you guys. <laughs> see you next Bye. week.